Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's do this. <clears throat> Some Christmas music. Like that. Like that. There we go. <clears throat> so. Today, we are going to... Pretty sure I'm going to model, <clears throat> going to model, model, model. But then I'll try, try again to jump into Substance Painter 3D, and we'll learn together and see what's up. So I guess we can begin. Oh, and also I've done a little bit extra um, yesterday after finishing the stream. Just thought that it's uh, it's gonna go faster if I if I work a little bit more on it, and it did. It did go faster. So yay! All right, what do we have here? Do we work on? <clears throat> do we continue working on the arm or do we go for something else? Hmm. I'll go for the arm. We need to finish this one up. And then we can go for the torso and whatnot. We'll leave the case and the screen for like that. That's going to be like the final final thing. Also, the case will need to do some some real shenanigans to make this work. Well, we'll see. Okay, so it's going to be this one, huh? Let's make a copy. And just go to town. It almost feels like we can borrow that topology here. Let's see. Um, isolate, I guess. Hi there, Paresh. Hello. It almost feels like to build this one up, we can get this top topology in here and just modify it a bit. Maybe that's the game plan. Maybe that's what we're going to be doing. But before we do that, we need to deal with this area here and also the form itself. So I'm just going to make a bounding box as per usual. How are you, Paresh? Why are you not working? Why are you watching live stream? Not that I'm sad about it. Okay, like that. Actually, let me log this so that I don't ex accidentally move it around. Ah, taking a break. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do we do we do smooth dragging though? Yeah, something like that should do, should do just fine. 
Okay. Then this whole part kind of goes way down until here. This whole part moves in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. These need to chill. This whole part needs to kind of move in. I should probably do this in projection view, but I don't really care that much about the... Um, what's the word? <clears throat> I don't really care that much about accuracy. Because everything is... We're basically redesigning it to work better with SubD either way. So it's fine. As long as we're kind of within the bounds of what we've set up to do, set out to do, it's fine. What do you do, Parish? What do you work as? If that's not too weird of a thing to ask. here we just need it to go in like that perfect all right so one side is done now this side hmm. kind of feel like <clears throat> for this side we just do this yeah that's that's gonna be better urban design studio cool I never knew, no, I never und fully understood what people do in urban design studios. Like I get the, I get the premise and so on. I understand that part, but just in general, eh, that seems fine. In general, the type of work that's being done. Are you doing like a, not design proposals, but like urban design proposals? Or are you doing um, Excel spreadsheets and whatnot? I guess it's both, isn't it? Oh, you're an architecture student. Okay. So, okay. So it's just like a... Gotcha. Just a course. Urban design course. Okay. Let's make a cylinder <clears throat> right here. And where where do you study? Not six. Kinda want more. Let's do eight. Ahmed about India. I'm googling it. The university. Oh, that's a pretty cool building. Is it this building right here? Oops. Why is it so big? That's pretty nice. Damn. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Institute of Engineering and Technology. Okay, so I guess you're... Uh, you're not in one of those, huh? 
This looks pretty sick. Now oh, there's a lot of good architecture. Five year undergraduate program in South School of Architecture. Okay. Oh, cool. You guys did. Uh, did you guys do this? That's nice. Is that concrete? Hi, RM. Good morning. How are you today? I'm, I'm good. It's uh, it's been snowing yesterday and today, so I'm a little bit sleepy. It's winter is hitting me hard, but I'm going to go to Thailand uh, in December, so I'm happy about that. Oh, there are some cool, cool things happening here. Hmm. Um. Hello. The website though is very bad. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. The the the, the website is. While well, the projects seem to be interesting, but the website, oh my god. Okay, enough. Uh, why can't I center this? Hello? Give me a center point. No? No? Okay. Let's try this. Website too bad, yeah, yeah. Sub D cylinder. Nope, that is not that. Cylinder. There we go. Round faces eight. Now oh, it's alive, okay. I just need to do that. <clears throat> okay. So this is going to be our little cylinder that we will somehow need to marry to the rest of the topology, which is not going to be easy. Let's isolate this and get rid of the top. Delete that. And also this ring, I don't need it, I delete that. Hello, it has been a while. Yeah, it's been two, two months, almost. Hi, Akira, hi. Yeah, so we have this. What about it? I need to... Now do this, unlock, select it, unlock this. Hide this, hide this, and somehow, somehow, we need to make these two kiss. Ah, uh, yikes. Okay, so first of all, the bottom here goes away. Okay, second of all, we count polygons. Oh, Nico Nico as well. Hello. We're doing some retopo reto retopo work to make our character <clears throat> this this guy right here or girl or girl um, to to make them uh, Unreal Engine Five friendly so that we can walk around in them. I am making another game, as you can probably tell by now. I'm going to be making another game. Thick girl. Not that thick. I think we, we hit the balance, a, a pretty good balance. At the end. In the end. 
Okay, so one, two, can connect there, that's fine. <clears throat> one, two, connects there. And then we have two triangles here. Do we want triangles? We don't really want triangles. That kind of overextends. So what if I just give it a little bit breathing room here? Just like that. And there's breathing room here. Okay, I think this will work. Let's um, extrude these. Like that. And now it's time to actually stitch everything together. And the blue is a little bit too much. Is it the blue? Maybe it's not the blue. No, it's the options. It's the edge coloring. So let's go to view, display modes, shaded mode, objects, sub D. There we go. Crease settings. Use single color for all creases. That is black. And this should fix it. And boundary edge, single color, that is black. Or actually creases can be um, shown in red. That, that might be helpful. So now if one of these is creased, it's gonna pop up in red. Okay. Catch up on some of the other videos as well. The floor plan one ah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that one is actually pretty cool um i got really excited about what can be done with uh, machine learning and floor plans i mean they are shit. don't get me wrong the floor plans that machine learning produces are not great but but that is not the point the point is that they give you infinite, not infinite, but a lot of variations as to what can be fit within a certain, uh, one second, what can be fit within a certain boundary um, that you describe yourself, of course. And when you do that, like, oh, this is going to be nice. Uh, when you have those infinite variations, then you can draw your own plan with having them in mind. So it just enriches the the process, I guess. It gives you X amount of information as to uh, what would work, what wouldn't work, and so on. Slowly, I'm going to <laughs> warm up to AI. I never was against AI. <clears throat> I was never against AI. Um, it's just that AI is highly overhyped at this point. But as a tool, I think it's, it's fine. It's absolutely fine to use as a tool. It's not going to save the world though as some people might think or it's not going to completely revolutionize the every single industry some yes but not all okay we have ourselves a little bit of a whoop up okay topology here is done we have mostly quads uh this needs to be like that and a little bit. No, 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 don't. Actually want to move this whole area here. Like that. Hmm. Probably that was a bad idea. Let's slide instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sliding is better. Slide this as well. Along. All right. I think the whole point of AI and architecture right now uh, to give variations, preferably with control parameters, so you can eliminate a lot of the repetitive process in design. Um, is that true? Let me think. Controlled parameters. Well, controlled parameters is 
a little bit on the tricky side to to see how controlled you know to what extent are the parameters controlled i'm just borrowing these um let's just do this perfect look at that that's good won't need these three uh one two three yeah that can be used that's fine so we just take these and move them in don't we yep all right so okay uh, what's the extent of control that you need to have in the parameters to make it usable to make ai usable like so that the variations that ai gives you are not just pure noise or just visual you know like what you what we usually get with uh, mid journey just a visual expression aesthetical expression of a building rather than the building itself or proposal for a building itself oh this will need much more love ah shit <clears throat> need to bevel this don't we and this will need okay here here these need to move in somewhere here parameters will depend on the type of ai Oh yeah, what's the use case, right? The use case for AI. Mm. Okay, so if I take these two, well, not these two, but rather this whole loop and I insert edge uh, right here then that that is fine and then i need one two two more edges okay insert edge right here nope nope come on stop stop doing that insert edge Okay, something like so. <clears throat> okay. Now, to terminate these. This and this. Or rather, these two can be stitched here. To one. And these two can be terminated here into one. That means these two points need to terminate here. No, shit. Mm, a little bit of a problem. Just a tiny bit. So this moves out, right? This moves out. Okay, one, two, and then this needs to be also deleted. and this with this gets stitched yep that's the topology <clears throat> that's the topology we bridge that gap I kind of want to actually I don't want to bridge the gap I want to stitch these two down to this vertice right here just like that
Yeah. Yeah. That transition is going to be much more smooth. Um, well, uh, an essay, Nico Nico, an essay, let's see. Interesting topic, so I allow it. <clears throat> Params will depend on the type of AI. So for image generation AI like Midjourney, I could see params for each arc style. Architecture style like curvy, organic, or Frank Gary. <laughs> it's you're just throwing out synonyms, man. Curvy, organic, Frank Gary. That can further refine an image generation. I think the next set in Arc AI that could be interesting is to instantly get spatial or physical analysis of the variation so that. Uh, will further eliminate a lot of the repetitive process in design. Well, you know what's a problem? I, I'll, I'll kind of not dial it back, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to generalize a little bit. But uh, the problem is that we think about architecture in styles and we feel the need to replicate it through styles which i don't think is the correct way to do it i think it can be done much more uh, this needs to be deleted i think it can be done much more um, you can be much more flexible when you don't think about you know this building needs to be curvy or will be curvy or this building needs to be twisty ism is too bad of a thing in architecture what is ism So what I'm uh, what I'm trying to get at is, while AIs are really good at replicating styles and understanding the way certain style works, I agree they they are really good at that. They're really. Oh come on. Oh my god. I need to kill one thing, one second. Okay, I think it's it's dead now. Oh, isms, uh, yeah. Uh, parameterism, fluidism, futurism, yeah. I don't think that's good. One second, I'll shut up for a. Uh, I will shut up for a little while until I I fix this problem because it's bugging me. Um. So this goes here. This will get bridged. This will get bridged. I need an edge loop coming in here and then terminating so I'll just terminate it to the middle force it inserts on the opposite sides um, something like that should work one second okay terminate here and terminate here and then here we will stitch you like that stitch like that there are 
Uh, there are areas which will need to be fixed for sure. I'll just kind of delete those areas right now. Right meow. Like that. And for now we just fix this. Did I stitch this already? It seems like I have. These two. Down to there. Okay, that's that's definitely a triangle. Maybe. Maybe not. Can be a quad. But then this area is gonna be very awkward, we'll see. Um, but these are gonna be bridges. I think I'm getting better at this. I'm thinking more in terms of um, not the edge flow per se, but I'm thinking in terms of how will this smooth out and the connectivity of things rather than trying to fo <laughs> rather than trying to follow along a specific a specific path. Okay, so this actually needs to, okay, this and that stitch like that. Perfect. Then we have these two. Then we have these two. Okay, let's see how that looks like now. That ain't too bad, honestly. And opposite side. These two. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Actually, this just moves. Mm. I've seen style genres down the type of style. Okay, so styles. Other way around. It doesn't need to be anything, but can be everything. Styles or whatever can be everything. It can be everything. That is true. But we haven't been using it for everything up until now. That's the reason why I started talking about the plan generator. Was because it was used for something that is not style based. Even though you are feeding in, you know, certain um, data set. So you are going to be controlling the style per se. But it's something a little bit more than that. So as it is right now, AI has the potential to do... To, I mean, it, it's such a general tool, right? Like, it, it can be used for self-driving and so on, like object rec recognition, um, helps out with rendering, and, you know, like, the, the, the depends on how you train it and how you construct it. 
but in design it's 99% of it is used for uh, stylistic image generation. Oh, that video is like eight minutes long, isn't it? It's uh, TLDR of that video is basically Plan Finder is cool if you want to do some quick tests before actually drawing the plan yourself. If you want a big boy tool, then use Finch 3D. That's that's the premise, <laughs> you know, of the video. But to kind of come back, go back together to that, big boy tools are most of the time unnecessary, right? Sometimes you just need a quick, you know, generation of plans to show you the possibilities. Okay, so I think this this is uh, good. The topology is good. We can now sharpen it up and uh, move on to the next uh, object. So let's let's make this bad boy sharp. Uh, that edge, right? Or rather, let's begin with this edge for sure. Bevel zero point five. There we go then 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 we can keep this sharp oh sorry not sharp we, we can keep this pretty soft but this edge right here that needs to that needs a little bit more love yep Okay, so we're beveling this and also that. So that. <clears throat> and I kind of want to do this honestly to just see how it's going to behave. Let's try. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, so this is how our bevel looks like. Bevel 0.5. Okay, tab it. Yeah, that seems okay. Emap this. Uh, let's go for a fluorescent tube, my favorite. Yeah, yeah, it catches the, the ridge quite well now. And there are, is almost no... Yeah, okay, there is a little bit of a hiccup there, but nothing, nothing extreme, so I'm happy. We continue, so we are going to be using exactly the same technique for this as well. Uh, up until here, bam. Um, is that going to be enough? Uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. mm, barely not enough, but still I want it to be clean, so I'm just going to move it out just ever so slightly. That's fine. Oh, we didn't terminate here. Oops. That's my bad. Um, how did we do the termination there? Into two, branches into two, and then into two again. Okay. Uh, so these two, stitch like that. These two, stitch like that. And these two, stitch like that. Yeah, okay. You never, never, ever, 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 ever want a pentagon, basically. Or a hexagon, for that matter. You only want quads and tri uh, triangles. Preferably only quads, but if you, you know, 
in this case you know two uh, edges need to come into one then you do triangles it is what it is i know finch that one's been in development for years now uh, for a few years now yeah Jesper, actually the creator of Finch, Jesper Walgren, uh, is my, and, and his wife, are my neighbors. <laughs> they're, they're my neighbors. So we, we talk, and also we, together with Jesper we worked. Um, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, we did an interview because we literally worked in the same course as him, uh, with him. Okay, we're, we're done with this. He's a really cool guy. Um, so now I need this. Is, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be really difficult to do, to make. But hey, we'll try. We'll try our best, right? We will try our best. Okay, so first of all, I need this whole part here. Like that. <laughs> Already jinxed it. Jesper has been looking for uh for students uh but unfortunately that's that's um it it is based in sweden right but he was looking for for people to uh draw the data set of plans and it's i i mean i say jesper but it's uh it's not just jesper it's the whole team pamela uh his wife as well um, they have been looking for people to draw data sets for AI. Oh man, how the hell do we even deal with this? Now oh, this is going to be real tough. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Can I? Extract ISO curve from this surface that is right in the middle right here. Wait, is that the midpoint? I'm sure I, I don't care midpoint. Is it? Yeah, it is in the middle. Okay, and then we gumball, snappy. We move it out to here, like that, and we scale it up. To this quad. Then we need to mirror this to the opposite side like that. <clears throat> and we need to make, <clears throat> sorry, we need to make a um, surface out of this. Oh, this is, okay, this is the hardest one I've been, I've done so far. This is going to be really hard to do topology wise. We need to make a seaplane that is located on the surface, doesn't really matter where, as long as it's on the surface. 
then I need to fish out a center point here and start drawing a cylinder. Uh, a sub D cylinder with is it eight? Let's do eight faces from here to this quad, draw it out up until here. Now we reset the C plane, we get rid of the yeah, we get rid of the curves and the surfaces. Okay, so we have this banana now. Um, this banana needs to be opened up. I'm pretty good at Rhino and Grasshopper and would gladly work for free for that project. I don't think they are using Grasshopper anymore, honestly. They have built their own um, web-based kind of platform where all of the calculations are done in the server backend so it's not on the user's computer it's rather on the server and you work on the website or on the web and i'm trying to remember yeah they are coding so they're not they're not doing grasshopper stuff because you know you can't use grasshopper on a server um but they are constantly they're they're constantly kind of hiring people um but they're hiring people mostly for quite repetitive tasks from what i got from what i understood because they need to build such large data sets okay like that let's do loop edge let's alt shift not not just alt scale the edges 0 0.9 that was my bad should have joined them are they yeah they're fine i could offset them as well yeah, I should offset them, right? Okay, this needs to be locked. So this and this, uh, we can just use offset. Oh, apparently, okay. Uh, five millimeters? No, two millimeters? Uh, maybe, yeah. <clears throat> two seems like an okay amount. This one as well. Uh, sub D loft. Okay. Sub D loft. Okay. So we get that. Join. Then let's get the curves in here, delete them get this edge loop this edge loop and bridge between them okay feel like this needs to be smaller though so i'm just gonna scale it to 0.9 0.9 like that something like this um, bevel the insides um, to the midpoint here and hit 0 0.5 bevels on here oh that's a lot okay uh, this needs to be sharper <clears throat> No, we should do this later. We should do this later. Uh, after we've like the, the, the major beveling is going to happen later. Data set is everything. The more the better. Of course. Yes. Yes, yes, yes.
Always yes. Okay. Where were we? So this is where it gets real tricky. For instance, stuff here, how do we even, how do I even begin? Okay, that, as well as those four need to be deleted. That's, that's the beginning. And these two can actually be bridged. Then these two need to awkwardly stick out like so. And then do they just get... No, but then there is no arc here, right? So th these two points need to be moved in like that. Okay, we're getting there. Then... Can this just simply be... Just simply be bridged. And that, that part will also need the same amount of love. But first let's fix this part. Fill. Okay. Um, I need to unlock. I need to make a copy. And hide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. We 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 can we can work with this. So we're following the limitations that are posed to us by... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this one needs to be an extrusion course. Uh, show selected. Mm hmm And again. Scaled down. Yeah, I think this will work. I think this will work just fine. Yeah.
I mean, it doesn't have that little arc there, but do we need it? Maybe we don't. Oh. Let's sharpen it up and just see how it looks like. If it looks like garbage, then we will we will continue fixing it. So that definitely gets sharpened up right there. This edge loop definitely and this edge loop definitely. Okay, so that is sharpened. What else? That's not so much. That gets sharpened, probably. Okay, let's try. Bevel. 0 0.5. A little bit of tensioning going on here. Nothing too crazy, but this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, balance, seven point. Mm, that's not good. Um, usually you, yeah. Okay, so let's undo this and go to select, previous selection. It doesn't give me anything that's cool uh, so we need to select everything again that is fine so what if we do the whole ridge here like that fuck <laughs> misclicked but wait now i can't yeah bevel 0.5 yeah see how this is now much much cleaner that's because i introduced like a double edge here so you never want to have a point with like balance of seven meaning like seven edges are sticking out from that point if, if you have that usually that point will have a crap ton of tension and now since i did like a bevel on this right so instead of one edge i got two here the point got separated into two points and this point has balance of five and this one has balance of five which is still you know ideal is balance of four but five is not that bad five means that we're dealing with triangles somewhere or not well, uh, that an edge loop basically terminates somewhere when you have balance of three, five, something that is not um, an equal or sorry, not an even number. Okay, anyway. Um, some more shenanigans here. Let's do that and that. This I want a to be pretty sharp, so I'll just bevel. 0 0.0 or 0 0.2 just to get it to that crisp sharpness and i think we call it we call it done all right another one another one bites the dust let's hide the body unlock give me that Let's take a gander. So this is what how much we have so far. Well, technically, you know, technically this is how much we have so far because it's two arms, but you get the idea. We have our meshes that we can actually have more stuff now that we can bake out. So what was it? Set one, it's gonna be this one. Let's bake it out right there. Set one, bake that one out. Set one, bake that one out. 
and then we can just close the grasshopper file make this into our meshes so this is like the sub d version of it and this is the meshed low low polygon version i'm doing this to constantly keep track of how many polygons we have so if i join this up i mirror this or i don't even i'll just multiply it uh and i type in what we're at 9000 faces for the arm which means 18,000 for two arms 18,000 we're well within our polygon budget um which means that if we won't exceed 100,000 by the end you know once we have done the whole 3d model then i will be able to hit all of these parts with a catmull clark to quadruple the polygon count basically so instead of 9000 we will have 36000 polygons for this piece uh, so 72 for both pieces which is still i mean 72 let's say for arms or 100000 for arms and then we have legs let's say that's another 100000 so 200000 for legs and 100000 for arms and then torso another 50000 250 and then the head and the back plate that's going to be another 50 300000 polygons that's a lot so i will need to kind of mix and match some parts will have catmull clark level 2 applied to them while others will have catmull clark level 1 and this is catmull clark level 1 All right Still, I mean, from afar looks decent, looks fine. Anyway, that's what we're doing. What's the game I'm making? I'm still, uh, um, I have an idea for a game and the idea is how do I say it without actually saying it so that I don't need to deliver on what I say I don't want to you know if, if I fail in making that kind of a game then I don't want to you know disappoint people um, the goal of our second game is that i want to meet all of you online within that game so i want to be in the same digital space as all of you that's what i'm gonna be working on World of Warcraft. Isn't Mesh Topo stuff better in Blender? Yes. Mm, yes, maybe. Depends on what you're used to. I am much more used to Rhino. That is why I'm using Rhino's Mesh Topo stuff. And at this point, honestly, honestly, at, at this point, Rhino's sub-D modeling tools are, are so good. They, they, they fix them. They're, they're stable. Most of them work really well. It's just selection and so on. Um, that it's pretty damn close. Even if you're good at, at Blender. There are cer certain tools uh, that I would still want to see, like cut and so on. But besides those, it's this works just fine. I'm, re I'm really happy with how this works. Okay. We'll have that. Let's do something simple. I'm thinking, let's let's do this. Yeah, sure. Simple. 
it ain't it ain't simple <laughs> it ain't simple mm, how do we do this like it's rotated in a weird way is was there like a one finger that was aligned properly was it this Let's see. Yeah, this one is aligned properly. Okay, so let's 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 work on the on the middle middle finger. Metaverse by Gadan. Yep. Well, no. Still should be a game. Right? Not just a glorified zoom call. But uh, the, the, the idea is there, yeah. Making a metaverse. Okay, as per usual, bounding box. <clears throat> Sub D box or let's make a copy of this to the side. Roblox, uh, more aesthetic than Roblox, but yes, you've you've got the, you've got it, you've got it. Hopefully, hopefully more aesthetic. Don't, don't snap, don't stop snapping. Oh my god. Here it goes snapping again. Uh, that. I kind of feel like this needs to be higher up. Align to no smooth dragging. Like that. These sides go out. These sides they also go out. I'm just kidding. I know, I know. Me too. I also know. I also know. Alright. Also, no. Hmm. All right. Let's do a profile for this. Insert. There will be an edge right here. Um, and another one right here. And Probably okay. This definitely goes down to this height, and these two chill out like so. And we'll need to carve. So the problem with not problem, but the the, the, the way you model with sub D is you can't carve right, which makes it that's. Mm, that's the way of how I. God damn it. Uh, that's that's why hard surface modeling, like NURBS modeling, is so strong and preferred by the industry, the design industry, is that you can carve with like bull you can use Boolean proper Boolean operations with NURBS modeling, while you can't do that with, with sub D. So if you want to do mechanical parts, it's better to do them with NURBS. Okay, let's do that. Let's take this and move it. Uh, move it, move it, move it. Snappy dragging. 
move it to here then back to smooth dragging get this one in here this one right 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 I think that's correct yeah that's correct all right so we get this whole thing going on now let's go for ghosted view mm, I need to make a hole in there and that hole will need to tilt so this whole part here is deleted like that What benefits do you get from Substance Painter for material creation that you can't achieve in V-Ray? Um, extremely high fidelity control over the textures and the placement of textures that you can never properly do with just V-Ray. Because V-Ray is all... Mm, like it's generative right so so it generates in nooks and crannies and it's pretty weak at that compared to um dedicated software so of course you know substance painter will do a much better job at it i can kind of show you okay let me show you one one thing um how do we do this let's 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 get Let's get something simple in here. Yeah, let's get this one. Um, or rather, wait, I have a mesh of it. Or uh, let's do. Let's do this real quick. Bam. Mm. How do you feel about Adobe buying Figma? What's Figma? I've heard about it. Oh, that one. I don't care. Don't care at all. Never used it. Okay, so that's done. Uh, then we export this. Uh, CRT exports to Blender, let's just call it uh, OBJ, FBX, I want FBX, or we don't really care for this, let's use o uh, FBX, um, showcase, okay, showcase, let's open a Blender, Like Figma is going to be subscription. If it's not already, it's going to be subscription based, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the whole monetary thing. I think Adobe. Like products of Adobe seem to be quite stable. In terms of how they work. So there is a certain quality threshold that Adobe has. Uh, and also like the, the the speed at which it works um it's it's also there for instance how do i talk about revit without shitting on revit um so revit has really crappy code in my opinion because the geometry that is shown in Revit over through the viewport 
is crashing uh, RTX 3080, right? Even if, you know, something that is that plays in Unreal Engine at 180 fr uh, 120 frames per second, something that shows in Rhino's viewport at 120 frames per second, something that shows in SketchUp's viewport at 120, in Revit might even either crash the viewport or, or the whole computer, sorry, the whole software, or it might show up at like 15 frames per second, which makes it very hard to model with and very hard to deal with. And that's, I think it's due to amount of metadata that comes in uh, together with the, the geometry. But just sheer handling of the metadata, I think is not optimized at all and is complete dog shit. Um, that it, it's basically like a tangle entangled ball of code that was produced like 10 years ago maybe more 15 years ago and they never bothered you know going back in and untangling it and you know re revamping it to work faster so they're just reusing the same system from from back in the day um you can really see that by the way the meshes are displayed and so on so it's um Autodesk, in my opinion, has a much lower threshold of quality standards that they are trying to kind of uphold, while Adobe has much higher ones. It might be because I don't use Adobe as much as I use Autodesk's products, so I'm in the blind, but that's how it feels to me. Okay. Am I not importing this? Hello? Import FBX. Where is FBX? There it is. Yeah. Import. Okay, I will just export this as an OBJ. Oh, it's four kilobytes. What the... F Whatever. Um, let's do OBJ. Something's fishy with my FBX export settings, probably. That is fine. We'll just use OBJ. Um, showcase OBJ, save. Uh, Blender. I'll read the chat in just a second. Import. To Blender. Showcase. Okay, it's somewhere here. I can't see it, there it is. Yeah, it seems to be a-okay. The shading and so on is fine. Let's go back. Oh, actually, it that's interesting. It inherits the layer color. That's that's pretty damn cool. Okay, um, get this in UV editing. Zoom to it. Um, let's just do smart UV project because I can't be bothered with uh, UV unwrapping. So UV projection is done. Then let's file, export, obj, again, to desktop, exports from Blender, and we call this showcase UV, export, and let's open up our Substance Painter. Did Rhino get around to adding a Substance Painter plugin? I don't... Okay. I don't need a Substance Painter plugin in Rhino before they fix their freaking UV unwrapping situation that they're, they, they have, you know, going. Because their UV unwrapping 
system as it is right now is unusable. Not barely usable, it's unusable. I can unwrap a box, nothing more. It's a hor like a horror show to try to mm, select the seams, to unwrap the seams and try to deal with the the whole island situation and the UV editor situation and so on. So even if they had a plugin for Substance Painter, I wouldn't use it because I would still need to migrate my files into Blender to have a proper software that is capable of UV unwrapping complex geometry. And then I would need to bring it back into Rhino and then use Substance Painter plugin, at which point I just do you know, a standalone Substance Painter import, and it's fine. Um, let's create a new file. I've learned, uh, I've, I've been studying up on this. Okay, so Unreal Engine, sure. Uh, document resolution can be used, that's fine. Auto unwrap, that's whatever. Uh, here we select the file, and that's gonna be our showcase file. Hit open, and we just hit OK. If I I think so. Yeah, I think it's legacy, right? It should be legacy. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Color management legacy. Hit OK. It pops this bad boy in here. Then I want it to be just like, I don't care about the UV maps. So, uh, 3D only, so I should uh, switch to that. And wait, did I? Yeah, this, this is a rotate. So this whole menu here is all of the different materials, all of the different, um, wait, where, where was it? Oh, there it is. Uh, smart materials, masks, and so on. What about blender texturing? <laughs> but what about blender texturing though? Um, blender texturing is fine. It's, it's again not a dedicated software, so it's fine. You know. Um, anyway. And here I can start building up different materials. So let me just delete the layer and let's create a new, uh, let's make a fill layer like that. And I will just choose, choose something that is, is there like plastic, plastic glossy, sure. So now, now I'm dealing with plastic glossy, right? But let's say, or uh, one thing that I forgot to do, I'm stupid, texture set settings, and it's under channels. No, it's under mesh maps. There we go. It's under mesh maps, bake mesh maps. We need to bake out our mesh maps and I'll bake them out at 2K. Um, nom, 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 nom. I only care about, I don't care about IDs. Everything else is fine. What are these? The baker allows you to use high poly parameters, high definition machines list is empty. What? I'm still a noob at this software, so I have no idea what does it mean. Use high poly parameters. Oh yeah, anti-aliasing, we want uh, insane anti-aliasing for this to work. Low poly mesh suffix low, high poly mesh suffix high. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. Okay, so we just bake selected textures. And you can see that now it's analyzing the geometry for us of this object. And it's baking different like maps. Now it's done. I have all of the maps here. And... These maps can be used to um, create stuff like dirt, grime, chips on the sides and so on. So I can showcase that. 
um let's say roughness instead of uniform color uh you can't see it wait whoop. instead of uniform color uh let's go for not parallel noise something uh, let, let, let's go through here it's gonna be easier wait is this no that's smart masks i only need textures And there's like a shit ton of different different textures that we can add, right? So let let's try finger. Uh finger. There we go. So these are going to be fingerprints. Right? Dusty spread smeared smeared wide. Okay, so let's try smeared fingerprints and just get added to roughness and now eh, come on oh uh no this you can see that the surface has fingerprints on it like as a texture and all of this bakes out of course so if i remember correctly shift and right click enables me to rotate the sun So you can see the, the fingerprints are added and I can increase the balance of it. So to make it a little bit more aggressive, I can change the contrast of it to make it pop a little bit more. Uh, there should be there should be so I can I can make this metallic as well. Um, where's the, oh, there's the tiling. Okay. There's the tiling. So I can change the tiling for this. Right. And then if I remember correctly, we can also, um, add is it at fill no shit okay um again i am not good at this i am sorry so we need to add filter and the filter can the filter be something that is are these smart filters no, those are masks. That substance painter. Yeah, thanks, Nico Nico. Um, matte finish. Yeah, there we go. So I can add on top a matte finish like filter. And then change the scale of it drop down the intensity so we start getting something like this right galvanized and for instance for the galvanized one uh, you can see the seam here yeah so the seam here that that's a problem if i understand correctly um Instead of using, um, so you need to change the tiling. Basically the seams will always be there, of course, but there is a way of how you can change the tiling. Try planner mapping. If I turn this on uh, for, for both of these uh, Projection, try planner projection. There we go. 
then this starts working. Like that, galvanized. Oops, that is wrong. Come on, there we go. So now it's almost like the that that seam is almost invisible. Can you add a layer mask and delete uh, areas of material? Absolutely, you can. So I can add one more, add fill layer. And I can say that this layer, um, you think I remember, <laughs> you think I remember. Okay, it's not like that. We need to remove, um, Remove effects. Okay, uh, I need to add one more fill layer on top. Add fill layer. There we go. So it's like that. And then I can say that this fill layer is gonna be. Uh, we could use that. Like the automatic UV unwrap is horrible. I should have used something else. But it is what it is. Let's say plastic matte pure. And let's go for red. Right. And then I can add. Add black mask. Like so. And now I can. While I'm inside of that mask. I can draw. The, the the that material on top of this material right because just like in photoshop but also also for that mask i can generate dirt or dust let's try uh, plastic edge damage or pa that's fabric uh, soft damage surface rust surface scratches let's try paint small cracks sure Let's try this, and I assume I can just drag it into the mask. Yes, I can. And now my my mask transfers the red material on top of the blue. And again, UVs are fucked, but that's okay. If I use tri planner, it's gonna be a little bit better. That's weird. Why can't I change tri planner uh, size here? Whoa. Okay. also invert this yeah that that's better mm. oh no that's blending contrast yeah there we go so the grunge is the intensity of it so I'm still learning you know I, I, I still don't know exactly how how this this whole thing works
but slowly. Slowly, we're we're going to learn together, right? Because now, okay, let, let's let's see. Um, this is just on the surface, but I can also do uh, rust, I guess, like that. And now it's added only in these areas. Mm. It's still, again, still learning. Uh, global invert. Okay, that's that's what it does. That's cool. Texture. No idea what this means. Just adds more, I guess. Grunge rust fine. Grunge rough dirty. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Anyway, I still need <clears throat> I still need to to learn this kind of stuff uh, before I can properly show it, showcase it. But that's the premise of it, right? And after you've done it, it kind of spits out all of the maps that you can use in your game or whatever. Sweatbang gives me a message. That's great. In the middle of the stream. Oh, come on. Here, there we go. Can, could you export heat map data from Grasshopper Sunlight Simulation and use that as material mask? Yeah, absolutely. But you can use that in Vray as well. Wait, can you? Oh, heat map data. So heat map data is vertex color based which yes yes you can do because you can convert vertex colors in of a mesh into material ids so for every color instance or, or color type uh, you can use a different material kind of so that that yes it's possible Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, but this goes away. The finger, huh? The problem is that, as per usual, you know, good stuff costs money, which uh, I would prefer if it was uh, free for students to use, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm thinking what should I... So there is like a gap there. Why did I spend so much time modeling a freaking finger? Could have just made it simple, but no. Mm. It's on me. Okay. 
So we do this plane. Mm -hmm. No, that's going to be a hexagon for sure. We're not going to be dealing with anything other than a hexagon here. Yeah, even a hexagon is intense in terms of the polygon count that we should have for a fingertip. But anything lower than that, it's, uh, it's a little bit bad. Okay, let's bevel this to here. Should be good. Um, right, 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 right. Okay, then seaplane. Or actually, um, this is the first time when we can do reflect. Or uh, we'll, we'll do reflect later. But yeah, we will be using reflect for this. And also, also, also. Jesus Christ, that, that music. I mean, I, I, I like it, but damn. Okay, so that, that, and that, as well as that. No, only one side. We will reflect it. Yeah. Um, insert, no, offset sub D. Oh, really? Okay, so I can't offset it. Awesome. Um extract surface offset sub D hola uh, yep is that too much that's too much uh, 0 0.5 yeah, that's better. Okay. Welcome to our little modeling session that we have here. Uh, ch -ch -ch snappy. And snappy. Oh, and this one is going to be tricky. Um, I think, does it give me an intersect here? No, I don't feel like it does. That's awesome. That's fine. I'll just do that. Okay, so this goes away. This gets locked. Or actually, this can fuck off for a second. Go selected. Uh, unlock. Selected. And just hide. I saw the webinar you will hold for Design Morphine. Uh, yeah. That is going to be a thing that's going to happen. Yes. That is true. Uh. And I need to. Okay, let's delete these two. And that one. Get these two in here. Insert. Bam. That little point there, it's actually two points. We stitched them. Okay, now we can bridge. I said bridge. 
I said br there we go. A YouTube logo. Okay. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, we do that. Hmm. So this will need more. Insert edge. Just like that. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a little bit too... Yeah, this is better. That was too dark. Okay. Okay. What's up with this? Oh, wait, we didn't need to st Oh, that was my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just being a moron. Um, we just need to stitch these together. <clears throat> just like that. <coughs> Sorry. Get rid of that. Uh, these three need to be scaled to zero. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Um, actually not okay. Because this needs to be vertical. Now it's okay. Then these get deleted. And I am also going to... Delete all of this. There we go. What's up with the polygon group there? Let's explode and delete. Okay, that's fixed. Then big, small, big. Well, let's fix this area first. And this area is fixed by... Extract. Move in. Mm. No. There we go. Smooth dragging just for this instance. Uh, much deeper though. Something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I need this to be. Uh, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, something like that should actually be correct. But, 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 but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, insert edge, and we need to insert one here. The other one right, right here. Okay. Because this now needs to be extruded, of course. Of course. Um, kind of want to, um, kind of want to have this locked, these to be scaled to zero, moved back down here, and we just keep, ex oops, we just keep extruding them and working with them. Oh wait, did I make a mistake there? Yeah, yeah, I extruded too much. 
only this only this okay come on lock 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 not that one though that this one okay uh, one more goes in and then this one this one this one this one actually needs to connect to the polygon right here right so the polygon area here needs to be awkwardly deleted Mm-hmm. It's to go until here almost. Okay, that's that's gonna be a definite definitely a problem. But that problem is gonna be for future me, not this me. So I'm okay with that. Um, bridge. Definitely a bridge. Bridge that. Bridge that. Okay. Uh, do we just do two bridges here? Or maybe not. Okay, let's undo this for a bit and figure out another way. Mm. Okay, so I'm thinking now that we need one more edge loop in here. Yeah, it's gonna help. So let's get one. So we're in the middle, doesn't really matter. Here as well, please. Okay. Are those two? Those are indeed two points now. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. So this does indeed get bridged. That's that's a given. But this shouldn't question mark. Eesh. Oh, maybe I was stupid. Maybe we don't need it. Oh, wait, no, we do, but we just need this point to be moved to here. And then we can delete this. Yeah, yeah. This will work. Okay. Then there's a triangle here that's happening, so I'll just use a pen face. Okay. And there's gonna be another one triangle here the reason why i'm doing it this way is because i keep the hole open here that is exactly the same hole as here for the smaller pipe to go in 
that's actually what we're going to be doing right now. So let me just take this, make a copy of this. Mm. I could just do that. Take all of those, inset them. Um, by 0 0.5. Is it 0 0.5? Yeah, let, let's say 0 0.3. So, come on. There we go. And I just need to have another set. Or actually, just move it out a bit. To basically generate this, oh wait, there's no chamfer on this side. It's only on that side. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so we just do it this way. Like that. And move these out. Like that. And now we get these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we bridge. Like that. Look at us go. Look at us go. That point needs love. Then 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 this is just a bridge isn't it yep and then we have one two three polygons one two three four polygons while here we have ah uh, yeah, yeah while here we have only one polygon so i need to insert here Insert edge, something like that. And also, 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 one, two, three, four. Or actually we can do a triangle here and that would fix it. Maybe. No, it wouldn't. Would it? No, it's still still a problem. So I can just do... Anyway, this is going to be a triangle, append face. Bam, bam, bam. It does become a triangle. This feels like a, a pretty good bridge. Um, and then here, right? That's fine. And this is where it stops being fine, but, 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 but. Oh, and we didn't even need the, okay. We don't need edges there. Uh, but we do need edges right here. Bam. There we go. Amazing. Yes, it is, isn't it? Wonderful. Okay. We have this. Uh, time to join all of it up. It's not pretty, but it's it's gonna be. Mm. Now let's sharpen this bad boy up as much as we can. Mm, well, this is a bevel for sure. And I'm just gonna be hitting it with 0 0.2 bevels, or in this case here, 0 
Uh, what's what's that? What's that? Hello? What is that? That is a whoopsie. That is a whoopsie. Can this whoopsie be fixed? We can literally just do this, right? Delete that. Like that. Bridge that, fill that. Yeah, that's that's fine. That works. Okay, so this as well as well for now this bevel like that. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get this perimeter working. So this definitely needs to be sharpened. This will get sharpened, this will get sharpened, and this will get sharpened. What about this? Uh, sure, why not? Then we get these guys sharpened. This can be smooth, that's okay. This one shouldn't be, this one shouldn't be. Um, let's do named selections. And just save one. That's gonna be our our edges if I accidentally screw up and miss the edges. Um, then this, for instance, like that. <laughs> Immediately messed it up. Like that. Okay, this is where it's gonna get oh. I'll need to look into that. Okay, so it does need to be sharpened there. That's okay. So we get an edge going here. Uh, we can hit all of this with a bevel as well. Just to get that nice little sharp corner. Okay, and that, uh, I think we can leave that just 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.2 maybe, yeah, 0 0.2 seems to be okay. Okay, double check, double check, that is funky, do we like it being funky? Oh, that is not good. That ain't good. Um, why is it there? Hmm. I mean, it's fine. I can just do this. <clears throat> Wait, is that a curve? No. Okay, it doesn't fuck. Why does it keep selecting like curves and whatnot? For instance, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's like a double thing going on here. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, there are surfaces here that are fucked. Um. Okay, that's not good. Why did they get fucked though? That's very weird. Mm. That's fine. Ah, thanks. 
today we had wait did i say this already today we had first wait yesterday we had first snow so i'm i'm i always start sniffling when there's first snow even if i'm at home where it's pretty damn warm maybe it's the dry air in the apartment i don't i, I don't know Okay, we bridge with two segments. We take this segment, drag it down, and we simply stitch. And then question mark because why is this 2 sub these 3 sub the vertices. Why are there 3 sub the vertices here? Explain. Oh. Also, there's a hole here. A lot of things go coming along really nicely. Okay, so that's done. And now, bridge. Ah. I am very confused by this. There are two edges here. Okay, what's this edge? This edge is here. What does it... Oh! 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 Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, so it's this whole thing that fucked up as well. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I can, we can fix this. I will just draw a curve here, lock it, get my delete tool going, and delete everything around that curve. There we go. So now that's, that's working, right? Yeah, that's working just fine. Then I unlock sub D loft between these and it doesn't. Okay. Um can I explode and do sub D loft here? Fuck. Uh why? Okay, uh, can I append face from edge, from this edge, let's say. Bam. Bam. Uh, that is not... No. Okay, from this edge then. Okay, then from this. Then from this. Yeah, and from, let's say from, 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 I can't select this edge now, it's bugging out, so I try again. Now that was um, unpleasant, to say the least. Beautiful sunny day in LA. Well, it's definitely far from sunny here in Sweden. That's that's definitely not. Oh my god. Okay, that's one vertice. Where's the other one? Why is this such a mess? Such a goddamn mess. Are these two points one? Yes, they are stitch. There we go. Yeah, now this is fine. Damn, that was... That was brutal. 
And, and, and now that was a really brutal error. Now technically I should just be able to bevel this. 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, don't remember. Yeah, okay. Now this is fine. Um, can I bevel this to make it... No, we shouldn't. Could we? Like, it feels like... That triangle feels real weird. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm unbeveling that. So let's see if this is gonna shit the bed or not. No, it's not shitting the bed. That's nice. And we get something like this. Yeah, that's better. Less tension. Uh, same, actually, same thing for here. You know, just proper edge loops all, all around. Come on, stop. There we go. Okay, that needs to be fill. filled. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now it's time to reflect. Take this, reflect, uh, select start of reflection plane, which starts here, goes here, gets reflected, reflect, remove it, reflect symmetry, perfect, we have both sides. Magical. Okay. One more done. One more done. Mm -mm. I want some coffee. I want some coffee. This is gonna be the next one. Since we have, for instance, this topology, I will just be able to copy this from here and paste it here, which is great. Mm, everything else would need to be manually done, though. This needs a bevel. Yeah, now it's good. Okay, be right back. Coffee time. Oh my god, it's already the sunset. It's three o'clock in the in the middle of the day. And it's already the sun is setting. Save me, please. Water is heating. Why are we making everything a sub D? Is it for a higher tolerance for print? No, no, no. It's for a video game. 
So th uh, since this is going to be a video game character, uh, I need it at different polygon counts, like different resolutions. And SubD shows me the, the highest resolution as well as lowest resolution with a click of a button. So, you know, this is how it's going to look like with low res as a low res character, high res character, low, low res, high res. Mostly because of that. Also, I enjoy working with SubD. Um, if I will, like, if you're able to model out <clears throat> something like this fully in sub D, that means you are able to most likely model out, you know, any building. So uh, it, it's mostly practice. I'm just practicing, you know, how, how to do it. Um, all right. So let's just grab all of that. Let's do this. Real quick. And then let's grab. Mm, let's grab all of that. My coffee is boiling, so I'm just waiting for it to get to temperature can i just reuse this i think i can right unfortunately everything is beveled already so <clears throat> adjusting things will be quite a shit show let's log that Your architecture major, so absolutely love watching your videos. Huh? Happy to hear that. Means the game is coming along nicely. Um, sure, <laughs> sure. No, um, no issues with the game whatsoever, and everything is just fine. And uh, the game will will be fine. Everything's fine. Don't you worry. The game is gonna come out someday. Let's get rid of that. And I am not stuck at all. I am not stuck. Even though it might seem like I am, that is false. I am actually not. Why is this still? Oh, it's connected through here. No, wait, it's not. Oh, explode didn't work. Explode. Yeah, here we go. This one goes away and now this one needs to be centered so we can just do vertex to center point oh, good enough like that okay thank god that i was lazy when modeling the nerbs version of this and i kept repeating the parts <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, be right back, coffee.
<sighs> Sweet. Coffee, coffee. Is the game going to be better than some Cyberpunk 2077? Why does everyone shit on that game? I like that game. I think that game is cool. It's full of bugs. That is fine. It's okay. Uh, the world building that they've done is amazing. Edge Runners, um, the Netflix show that's built in Cyberpunk Universe is amazing. And it's just a good piece of, I don't know, like the art, I guess. Yeah, you can call it art. A good piece of media. It's funny. Okay. Fair enough. I don't, don't get me started on Cyberpunk then. <laughs> um, hide that for a second. Yeah, the show is real good, isn't it? A little bit sad though, but uh, I enjoy a good, good sad show. All right. Um, I think like the best w way to do this is always is creating a bounding box. Uh, then using the bounding box as a guide for a sub D box. And having the sub D box and deleting the bounding box, of course. And having the sub D box um, have two by two by two divisions so that you can easily introduce, like, add edge loops, more edge loops. And then just going to town, creating edge loops in places where you need them. So, for instance, here insert edge right here double click insert that oh actually uh, let's have this poly surface locked so that i can just move the bounding box to here you know and and then then you're kind of good to go do i do the do I do this again? Yeah, I think we will we'll be doing this again. Reflect, I mean. Okay, like that. And then... <clears throat> like so. And then shifting to another view. Which is here. And seeing if we need to add more sub D. Oh, that, that was my bad. This actually needs to be higher up. Like that. Now it's better. Oh, no, wait. That's two fillets. That's gonna be a fancy two edge loop situation. Because there is like... Um, uh, fillet in this direction and fillet in this direction, they are offset from each other, so there are going to be two loops rather than one. Which is fine. So we get something like this. You know, this fillet, this fillet. And then, then, then. Then, then, then. It starts becoming interesting. Because we have an edge loop here, right? That, let's say, we will use it for bands, and it goes up until here. And we can kind of reuse it in this, this area here by just moving it to the side like so. Then, this whole part will be dipping down, but that means we need an edge loop right here to protect it. Uh, so I'll insert edge, but now we can see my this new inserted edge loop, since I moved it around, is crooked. Um, 
if you don't want it to be crooked you just scale it to zero and now it's straight again but in this case i probably want it crooked no i don't i actually want it to be straight so zero and then we move it to here all right so now this enables me to just take this top surface here and move it to here and then understand that i messed up and that i still need one more edge loop or maybe i don't no no i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't i just do this then go back in here select the polygon and just extrude it right to the correct height reminds me you of gundam building mm, maybe gundam building has less problem solving gundam building has much more what's the correct word Gundam, Gundam building has much more um, care in it, right? So, so you, you do everything super precisely and super accurately. Um, while, while here, it's the precision and accuracy maybe are not that important. The most important thing is to solve all of the topological issues. So it's much more of a of a puzzle, I think. Uh, this uh, needs to be not doing that. Why is it doing that? Gumball, snappy dragon. So for instance, this. If I didn't notice that this edge was messed up, once I start moving things around, um, this would have been a disaster. So here we just move to here that gets extruded down to here this gets moved back come on no this needs to be ghosted all right right this this whole surface gets moved to here and now we have topology that follows right so that's step one step two is a little bit more tricky uh okay that is going to be a problem in the future so i will just solve it right now you sir definitely need to be in the middle here there we go Um, it would be mm, sub mesh wouldn't work. Uh, it would work. It would work. Of course, it would work. But the more I would be moving uh, vertices around that are crooked, the more of an error—not error, but misalignment—I would have, and it would just be a mess. Like when things are not aligning um, properly in your three D model the error accumulates with every modification that you make for the 3d model so over time it would just kind of accumulate and the edge flow and so on everything would start twisting a bit i mean disaster is probably a little bit too strong of a word to be honest um but i would need to spend you know like five minutes cleaning the whole damn thing to make it work and I don't want to do that, so insert edge right here. Okay. Let's get this guy right here. Okay, let's see. How does this connect to our 
geometry. So we definitely don't have, actually I can just delete this whole part. Can I just do that? No, of course not. That would be too easy. I can do this and then explode. And delete that. And insert some edges and get rid of these. Okay. So I do have this edge loop right now here. Um, for sure, for sure, we will not have this. And this will be... Okay, so this gets stitched with this for sure. That means this doesn't have anywhere to be stitched to. So we need an inserted edge loop right here. Okay. And then we delete these things. Okay. I can just bridge instead of stitching. That's going to be faster or not or not or not because here i need to oof fuck was that yeah insert edge and i can just insert it to let's say here that that works uh, make this disappear, I guess. Oh, it's so big. Need more. Need one more. Uh, not absolute proportion based. There we go. So that get, goes away. This whole thing actually needs to go away way at least i think so this needs to be moved in place right here okay okay we finally have it going stitch uh not too average though i i need this to keep it for its directionality mm-hmm that is a bold line right there. That is not a bold line anymore. Okay, that works. And last but not least. That works. All right. That looks fine. I think that looks fine. I mean, it could be better, but not bad. Uh, not bad. And then we have some extrusions here that we will need to. Ooh, ew, 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 disgusting. What, what happened here? Oh, no. Okay, what the, what the hell is that? You don't need to be there. So... So this, absolute, there we go, this gets deleted, wireframe, yep, okay. That's fixed now. What about the top? Top is, seems fine. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four. Four corners. All is good. Okay. Here selected. Uh, here's our crap. And I will want to see how it works here. So this, this area, huh? Mm, 
one. Give it to me. There we go. Okay, so we have it extracted. If I have it hidden, it's good here. Um, blah, 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 blah. hide that. Okay, so this needs to be a little bit more chill, like that. <clears throat> and we need like another version of this where it's kind of or rather shit alt key 10 jesus christ definitely not 10 1.01 1 .01. uh that was too little 1.1 1 .1. that's too little 1.5 that's too much. I could do the offset, I know, but hey. Hey, yeah. 1.2, too little. Yeah, 1.3 will do just fine. Okay, so we have that. And then basically the way this works is this whole thing will need to go down so let's bridge this well not this and not that oh, fuck come on from here to here these from here to here this bridge okay from here to here up oh. here to here double click here to here double click bridge all right we have our rings doing their ring things then somehow this whole thing let's make an extrusion and let's scale it to zero to have it clean this whole thing needs to connect to my you know to this whole thing so first things first um let's see from here to here click click i need this to with snappy dragging yeah uh, i need it to be snapped to let's say this this vertice here and then we insert edge or insert edge and we insert it right there as well okay what now mm. now now we think So basically, I need one, two, three, four. I need four polygons. One, two, three, and there's only three here. So I need one more polygon to be inserted, which is not bad, which is definitely doable. Um, let me think where. Yeah, definitely here. Okay. So we just double click. We get, what uh, the fuck? Oh, hello. Well, this is awkward. One, two, three, insert. I think it's these two points. No, it's not. It was these two points. Yeah. Don't forget that when you insert crap, it gives you double points so you need to fish out the points that it gives you and stitch them back together i like insert edges uh, really loves giving you double points so just be mindful of that okay uh one two one two three and we insert here mm, is it absolute it's absolute no i want proportion based bam like that 
one, two, three, four. Okay. And I think now if I move this to here and I move this to the appropriate area here, then bridging between these two will produce a pretty clean result. Yeah, that works. It's a little bit on the wavy side, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Show selected. Uh, sub D. Can this be thicker? Mm, not really. I could do something like so, but that is not going to look good. No. That looks crappy. Okay. So we're, we're sticking with this. Time to reflect. Is this the midpoint though? Feels like it's the midpoint. So we just reflect on it. Okay. Reflect again. Remove. Um, this edge loop in the middle. That's garbage. Don't need it. And here we go. Uh, why is this crooked? Going to bed now. Okay, good night. Good night, Nico. Nico, Nico, ni. Hmm. Okay, before we reflect, let's sharpen this bad boy up and also fix what that what whatever this is yeah I'll be streaming this week uh, a few more times for sure see ya okay so we have that yeah it's it's sharpening time So that all is good here. It needs a little bit of love, but that's fine. The sharpness here is fine. Actually, I mean, most of it is, is a okay. I can bring some sharpness into here by just moving the vertices around. Okay, so that's good. Then it tapers down here, which becomes bad. Okay, so we need to we need to sharpen. Shit, we need to sharpen this area right here. Uh, just so that so it goes down. And then it becomes it branches off here. So this whole part here needs to be sharpened for sure. Bam, bam, bam. Then here, I definitely want a sharper edge because yeah, then this this whole thing here. There we go. Then we will have. A drop down here where I will want this to be well it's already pretty sharp here um, but sure we can we can make it can make it even more sharp that's fine like that bevel 0.05 or of 0.1 rather uh, let's do 0 0.2 to keep it consistent yeah that seems fine uh, this and this that's that's gonna be 0 0.1 for sure uh, that is gonna be 
and that is gonna be 0.2 or 0 0.1 0 0.1 maybe hmm don't care about that area let's see if 0 0.1 works oh it fucks up there quite dramatically but hmm, I kind of like hmm, no I don't like it so let's undo and let's do select previous selection do I work in a company as an architect and um, well that's that's for my wife to answer <laughs> It's because uh, the company in which I I work wait work is basically my wife's company and no I I think I don't no I I should say that I don't work as an architect in a in a very general sense of be w what constitutes work of an architect but when there is a need to produce a, a building you know a building design or renders for a building or, or planning and so on competition entry stuff grasshopper scripts for the company then uh, and I help out and I join in but I don't do for instance I don't do technical projects right let's see here oh yeah yeah the whole perimeter here is much better than what it was before so we have this sharpened version here i kind of want to have you sharp here as well don't we have it sharp in the other one? Oh yeah we probably do but just didn't use it devil there we go reflect some of it Uh, like that and then let's get rid of this all right another part done mm. i want to do one thing show selected um with these like the ends are a little bit annoying for me so i'm just going to get all of the ends in here and I'm going to hit them with an additional bevel. 0 0.1. Wait. Is that correct? That didn't work at all. So I want the chamfer. Uh, I assume it needs to be scaled down a bit like that. Scale down. Like that. And then we hit it with a bevel. Or does it need to be even smaller? Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. We use that. We use that. All right, then second finger joint done. You do all the design, uh, you literally win. You do all the design fun with none of the RF, R RFI bullshit. Um, is that true? No, you, you have a, uh, you don't see it. Uh, correctly I'm more of a 
I'm more of a guy who comes in when it's all hands on deck type of a situation. When there is not enough people in the company to to produce the, the, the material that needs to be produced. Yeah. Because don't forget, you know, I, I teach full time in the university. Now we're doing this. I teach full time in the university and I also. Uh, what else do I do? Oh, this is a big boy. It's just a scaled version of, of the other one. It is, isn't it? And I do YouTube. YouTube. Do this in top view. Get rid of half of it. Insert to midpoint and get rid of this as well. Okay, so how does this work? Yeah, this is a completely different... Oh my god, I, I did it in a very shitty way. That's fine. This is a completely different topology, or is it not? It's very similar, actually. But I can't reuse that. Mm, I will be reusing some parts of this, though. You're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Um, what would you show in the YouTube channel? Mm. Yeah, that will work probably. Which one are we? And we're doing this one, aren't we? Mm -hmm. That is kind of fixed. Now we need this. Okay. I need this to go center point, center point. Give me, give me, give me, give me center, center. Center point. Hello. Yeah. Then I need the scale of this from here to let's just say from here to here to reach something like so 
Yeah, I think that's big enough. And then we do... Actually... Let's just scale this a little bit more. 1.05. Yeah, that's good enough. Then get that back in here and somehow move this. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. And select those and select that. Fuck. Give me that. Not these. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Not that. And this one needs to move to the midpoint. Like that. Now, give me this edge loop. The whole. The whole edge loop, please. Oh, it ends there. No, it doesn't. It keeps going through here. Mm, we will need to fix that. Or maybe we won't. We'll see. Um, Photoshop and Rhino based tutorials or just my workflow really? Um, do I have a, well, it depends on what you want to achieve with, um, with YouTube. If you want YouTube to become your, um, not work, but yeah, let's say your, your work, um, then you need to, like Rhino is so niche and rhino like long uh long not long term but long with videos long videos about rhino like tutorials or courses they're so niche that there is a very strong cap as to how many people um will watch your video even if it's the best video in the world, right? Simply because there is, you know, the community is small. Photoshop uh, has the, a much, much higher potential to grow. But at the same time, with Photoshop, you would be fighting with... Like the competition there is insane, right? So, so you would need to figure out how to stand out if, if, if this is important, if you want it, you want the YouTube channel to grow. So if you just show your workflow, it needs to be something unique or else no one's going to care enough to watch it. Hope that makes sense. You can do like, for instance, there there's a YouTuber who does Photoshop challenges where he photoshops Pokemon into realistic versions of them. And that video is popping off quite a bit, those videos. So that, that kind of a, you know, a twist to an idea of showcasing a workflow with something a little bit more than just, you know, hi guys, I'm going to show you how I Photoshop my building. Because there's many of those. Mm -hmm. We do that. I was thinking of going a little bit more mainstream with uh, with my channel. Um, you know, in terms of what do I do? Because it, it would be easy clicks if I just show the tutorial, you know, um, 
this is how you 3d model this particular building that is very famous you know calatrava stuff or whatever and you know just kind of breakdown of me modeling a famous building um but then i decided uh, i need to like what what i do or else it's just going to I mean, defeat the purpose of me going into into YouTube and sh showcasing stuff. So I just stopped. Oh yeah, and just to be clear, doing that would be boring for me. the you know uh, the, the, the sh let's show how to model a building type of thing or let's show how to model someone else's building rather not that it's anything wrong with that it's just not interesting for me personally and i want to do stuff that's interesting for me such as making robots with viewership of Drum roll, please. Four people. <laughs> like when when I was live streaming, for instance, um, interior design rendering with V-Ray, uh, we would get at like sixty people, seventy people in the stream, which is still you know a pretty small stream, but. It's li literally, you know, more than 10 times more than what we have now. Um, but I, I would get bored quite quickly. So instead, we model robots that no one ever gives a shit about. But I like them, so I don't care. Okay, so I have that. That is following. This is not following. Why is this not following? It's not following because I didn't make it follow. Mm -hmm. so this needs to drop. Oh, wait. But this is weird. Um, so th that... that really wants to be a triangle, but I don't want to make it into a triangle. So that, that, that. Oh, and it's a triangle because there are two bends here, huh? I mean, I can... Um, can just do something like this. That's gonna work. Sure. Let's do it like that. A little bit on the stretchy side, but hey, it's fine. Should be fine. Let's go for ghosted. Pow pow. Extrusion. Bottom extrusion. All right. So we have that. We have our two pieces there. Mm. Let's go, robots. Fuck you. Yeah. No, you need to take care of yourself before you take care of others. Very important. Hmm. 
So let's think. So if I protect it here. Ah, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. So I do need more inserted edge loops. Absolute. Sure. Right there. Because there is this kind of a Y shape going on here that we need to work with. Mm. Oh, and I can't go higher than that. Well, that sucks. How do I... Do we actually need to... Okay, so this can fuck off. And do we actually need to stitch these? I guess we do, right? Like that. And then... This goes here, this goes here, um, and what the hell does this do? It could go here and we could say that that's, that was the plan all along. Let's see how it looks like. Well, that doesn't look too bad, honestly. I mean, it's not going to have that kind of very sharp corner, but also we're saving so many polygons by doing this. That I think this is worth it. Yep. No, we're going to, we're going to use this. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand like the, the the teaching others what you what you know. Um Just yeah, ju just try. Just start. <clears throat> See if it's up for you. Like the honeymoon phase uh, will will be Excellent. I mean, you, you'll enjoy the honeymoon phase with the with YouTube. Then it's going to be the realization, you know, of, oh, oh, so I just, okay. So I just need to keep uploading or else everything's just going to drop down. Okay. Okay. So we do this now. For how long? Well, forever. <laughs> and that's okay. And that is okay. Why is this not snapping? Hello? I want it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Then we delete these. Mm, really want to... Let's insert and see how it is uh, disgusting. This is better. Let's do this. Let's merge our cylinder thing in here. Not this, this. Um, so I can't help but notice that the form of our cylindrical object is not the best so we need it to be a little bit adjusted should not be a problem something like that right 
now let's think so this definitely stitches with this right or rather this edge with this edge like that this doesn't have anything to stitch to while this will be stitching with here so we need an insert edge to be inserted here so that these two points can be stitched like that and this one can be stitched with this one just like that okay then this just moves down while uh, while um, a little this kind of does something like that yeah i like that okay sure does something like that that works then for this uh why are you not at zero be flat and also be vertically aligned with this so that we can um so that we can we can we can insert an edge loop right here something like that extrude both of you to that point um definitely oh come on i need stitch those two bridge that and fill that there we go okay neat just keep uploading just keep never stop uploading always upload even when you don't have anything to say keep saying stuff just keep saying stuff okay i don't like that i think we can do better insert edge like that there should be one two one two Ew. Uh, what's up with that? That's two points. Oh, that's clean. Okay. So that has been married in. Woo! We're going through this. We're just blasting. We're just blasting. We are simply blasting okay now this needs to be added uh oh <laughs> uh oh uh oh Okay, I definitely need uh no. I definitely definitely need an edge loop that would just kind of go until let's say here. From here. Insert. Like that. Then I need mm. so that bevel really is gonna screw me over, isn't it? Because technically, this would work 
if I didn't have um, if I didn't have this bevel and this bevel right here uh, why did I do this how can we unbevel there is no such thing mm. There is, there is, okay, delete that, or there is, let's do it this way, delete that, delete, delete that, get this loop here, scale this loop, or rather, no, get, fuck, block that get this loop in here and select and select and select and that's gonna be faster there we go and move this until it matches up here same thing for the opposite side select this and this and in between them and just move them while they match up here okay now we need to stitch like that like that yep like that every other pair Unfortunately, stitching is not um, unfortunately stitching is not uh, uh, um, you can't do it for multiple edges at once. So we need to do it very much manually, one pair at a time. That's fine. While I was blabbing, already did it. Uh, except here that is also stitch and here as well okay so that's we're back back on track now we it's only one polygon and it's misaligned So let's just align it properly so that it snaps to this vertice. There we go. Okay, the shitty part is kind of done. Kind of. There is shitty part number two. Which is basically... Okay, so we need... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it this way. Lead that. Take this. And, and let's just kind of move things to where we will want them to be. So stuff like that, that, that. that and finally that okay one two three four polygons need to fit into one polygon mm. okay that's gonna be a lot of a lot of inserting of things um And I can't keep adding edge loops there. I need the edge loops to be horizontal here. So this whole thing needs to be fixed. I think we can fix it. Oh, yeah. 
stitch it there. Before we forget. There we go. I think we can fix it by... Come on, stop that. By inserting an edge right here. Stitching two points. Okay, so now it's a triangle, which means I should be able to insert edge. Yeah, that works. Okay, so one and uh, two and then three ish and the four ish um yeah we're doing the fifth one right here okay one two three four there we go and technically i could bridge do i bridge i could bridge yeah we should bridge okay let's do that and that and bridge tab already pre-sharpened <laughs> whoa what the fuck is that oh that's that's an ugly oh that that's so bad oh my god okay so we'll need to we'll need to work on that a little bit but hey right now it kind of works so we have the topology going now it's time to sharpen things up ah yes this um this should be probably a separate piece right i feel like it should be a separate piece Let's first sharpen this whole thing and then then decide. So this definitely a bevel. Uh, maybe less. 0 0.3. Um, here definitely a bevel. Then we have here. You guessed it, a bevel. Guess what this is gonna be? Yep. A bevel. Well, this one, the softness of this one, I kinda like, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, but not here, not, not, not here. So, okay, so we have a problem here. And the problem is called uh, this middle point right here. Um, the problem here is solved, while well, here it's, it's fucked. And I solved the, okay, let's solve the problem here as well, then. Insert. Nope. Like that. Uh, absolute. Get rid of these two. This needs to chill and slide. And then we just simply bridge. Now it's less fucked. Uh, it's still fucked here though. Now it's less fucked. Okay. Um, where was I? So I was taking this whole polyline and also, of course, taking these. Give me that. Let's go back in here. So we're just sharpening the whole... And yeah, that should be fine, right? It's not gonna... Not gonna crash, no. It will be fine. Okay, so we have that. And then I'm gonna hit it here as well. Uh, here it already is holding. While here it's not. So let's do that. 
Yeah, and just bevel. No. Oh my god, it didn't. It did it break? Previous selection, please. Try again. Bevel, 0 0.2. Uh, it's it's freaking out there. That's fine. This is okay. This is good. This is fine. Uh, that's disgusting, but it's okay. This is sharp. That's nice. Okay, so this is the only area where it's really not happy. So let's just give it a little bit more breathe breathing room, like that. Yeah, that works. Hell yeah. Hmm. Where does this go? It goes up until here, doesn't it? Okay. Can I just kind of hit it with a bevel here? Like a pretty strong one, 0 0.3. Just to get a ni nice edge flow going. Yeah, okay. Reflect. Uh, start of reflection plane. Somewhere here. Bam. Bam. Reflect again. Remove. Symmetry. Bam. Don't need that middle edge. Delete the middle edge. Sweet. We have ourselves yet another element. Okay. Do I want to soft uh, have this soft or hard? Probably this should be hard, right? Like an, a, a hard edge. Yeah. So let's have that area hard. Like these two. Like that. Yeah, that's much better. While everything else can be soft, that's fine. Um, the, the finger is almost done. And I've been streaming for... Three and a half hours, okay. Alrighty then. Let's do three more. Three more hours and then I'll call it a day. Oh. Maybe four, maybe four more hours, we'll see. YouTube keeps uh, forcing you to create short, not forcing, but suggesting, strongly suggesting to create sh shorts, their new thing that's fighting TikTok. Oh, one thing that you could do, by the way, Nick, are you still here? Nick, 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 come on. Uh, let's do one more here. Nick left. Okay. Then no more suggestions for Nick. Uh, that's a mistake. Show selected. We can do this. Come on, give me the the freaking surface there. All right. Um, lock.
Okay, that's... I actually don't know how to... How to make this properly. So I'm just gonna do it the way I imagine it should work. Like that. Um, let's hide this for a bit. There is an edge loop, yeah, right there. Thank God for symmetry. Okay, so this is what, okay. So, so does this need to be like here and this needs to, oh shit, this needs to be here and then we just take the top and scale it to here. Do we do it that way? Looks fine. Okay. And then in the in here we just need this or just need these two to go something something like so. Right. Is this close enough? Ah, and then here it actually bows bows out like that. Gotcha, gotcha. While here it actually moves in. Like that and even more like that was i on drugs when i was creating this so weird and then this needs to stick out like that <clears throat> actually this needs to be it does need to have one edge right in the middle so that we're able to get the point out get the point out like that uh, there are problems here that's fine that's fine let's hide it let's uh yes let's look at something like so Okay, so these need to be done like so, while these are spread open like that. And then we can just casually inset as a group 0.5. There we go. Okay, slowly, slowly, slowly. Then we need the whole perimeter here. Oh, okay. I've got it. I've got it. Wasn't even concerned. Wasn't even. Not even a big deal. Easy peasy. Really seemed like it's not gonna work though. <laughs> okay. So that, uh, of course, these need to be sharper what do we hit them with 0 0.1 probably 0 0.1 yep level 0 0.1 tab yikes uh or is it yikes emap no no it's beautiful yeah that's exactly how i yeah what i want oh that's nice okay 
those of you who have me on the second monitor look at this that's a nice reflection isn't it tell me it's a nice reflection in the chat now please someone we have that um so there needs to be like a bridge situation it's a nice reflection thank you <laughs> thank you um like that okay how do we connect these two? There's one polygon here and two polygons there. Do we even need to connect? Yeah, we do. We do. We do. Let's just... Yeah, let's just take this polygon. bevel it bring it down no that's bad am i able to no i can't do that mm. i could connect it here but that would require me require me beveling the whole thing. Maybe that's fine. Straightness is zero. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep creases. Yes. Offset mode proportional. That's fine. Get deep in there. Get this one. Scale it up. Something like so. Okay. I think I've got it. Uh, so I just need to insert edge right here. Or oh, sorry, uh, these three. Like that stitch stitch by the way hi claymator animator claymator animator So I need um, this. Okay, isolate. We need this to be bigger. So we just move this down. We move this up. Uh, we need to move some edges around a bit to relax it a bit. Hello. Okay. Then you get deleted. Show selected. Um, you get deleted. And then you and you get bridged together. Tab. Uh, how does that look like? Yeah, the topology is fine. Okay, that's that's good enough. No one ever is gonna see that. Mm. Okay. The fingers done. Oh. 
The plan is to do... Are you going to be studying the whole cha uh, char character? Yes, I am. Um, I already have... Mm. I have this much done. Well, technically... Technically this much. Right? So the arms... To, today I am going to do... Like the, the whole... Arm. So, so the arm is going to be finished today. And I am planning on having it also textured. Not textured, sorry. UV unwrapped. Speaking of arms, my, my hand hurts. And... Hello, save. Okay, it saved. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be cool. Uh, it's gonna be cool. Is this... Please tell me I was smart enough to just... Copy one, two, yeah, these are copied. Thank god. Okay, so the thumb is also a direct copy. Um, so I guess it's time to, yeah, 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 it's time to do this. Mm, mm, mm. Can't wait. Music. Let's go for something a little bit. Let's listen to some retro wave music okay this is this one's gonna destroy me <clears throat> retopoing this mm. So let's see. Sorry about that. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking how the hell do I even start working with this? Okay, so I definitely need... There's gonna be like a plate situation going on here. There's gonna be like two finger protections going on there. 
That's not a problem. Mm. A hole going on there, and that's also fine. Let's extract some surfaces. Just to get those going. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do a bounding box. As per usual. Okay, and now I need to figure out Hi, good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the little stream that I'm doing. Okay, so these are locked. I kind of need, okay, if I need these to go here, for sure, that's the top, then here it just kind of tapers out like that, that's easy, let's go for wireframe, here it's also kind of chill, like that, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, let's do the bottom first. Just like that. And I would say the first hurdle is gonna be getting this to work. So thankfully, this is a straight line. Like that. And here. We could just do something like so. Mm. Okay, let's do it this way. Insert edge right there. We need it right there. And this point needs to be higher. Like that. And moved in like uh, that all right so this this should yeah 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 this should be fine should be fine like that and then this kind of goes in here yeah perfect well almost perfect okay so our plate outline is kind of done that that's fine this works it has very low very low amount of polygons though which is a problem because once i start adding crap here that's not gonna hold up at all um also for instance here there will need to be yeah so i need to add more preemptively insert edge add more edge loops such as this one um, let's see if this is gonna be enough. Let me just put it in here, in here, like that, in here. No, that's not enough. I need more. I need here to be two rather than one. That's fine.
also here I also need two uh, rather than one. Um, we will do it by messing around with yeah okay so we we simply need to delete the mesh faces or, or sub faces right here oh also i forgot before we mess with that i need to fix the uh, the view on the side right thankfully i was a good boy and i did it as a flat plate even though a viewer called Nico Nico kept saying that I should do it curved. Well, who's laughing now? Now I don't need to to curve the the the, the, the sub D on in one direction, and I am happy about it. Okay, let's make this and this into a bridge. So now we have a hole here. And this hole is going to be very helpful for us. Um, especially when we will start dealing with edge loops here. So for instance, this one. Wait, does that make an edge loop or am I just kind of trusting that it's going to make an edge loop? Yeah, it's not making an edge loop. I'm stupid. Insert edge. Yeah, it's going the wrong way. Okay, let's do it this way then. Okay, it doesn't want to. Okay, it still doesn't want to. I'm gonna cry. Uh, let's do it this way. Insert edge. Um, and it's proportional. That's perfect. We just insert it randomly here. Same thing here. Bam. Get rid of that. And just bridge the two together. Okay. Back with wireframe. No, not in perspective. In shaded. Uh, in perspective. Now we have more points to work with. So we can just kind of position them the way we want. In places where we want them, I should say. Just like that. As simple as that. Okay. Then this is going to be a disaster over time. So I will kind of separate out the edge loops a bit. Like that. Like the step size between the edge loops needs to be quite consistent or else it's just not gonna... Yeah, we're, we're not gonna have a good time. Okay. So that works. That works. This is the hardest one so far. That, that, like the hardest element by far. By a wide range or margin. Is it margin? By wide margin. So this goes in like that. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Next. We start adding shit to it. Oh, never mind. There's still this part that needs to be taken care of. How does it look like here? Yeah, it's basically this. This is like a recessed thing um, that we need to fix. Yep. At this point, I'm starting to work in 3D though. How do you fix that? That's the problem with topology. Or not topology, with, with uh, sub -dies. You need to follow edge topology or else you're gonna have a very bad time. So, it feels like we need... A triangle here. 
yeah we do need a triangle here um that goes no wait oh fuck so if it's a triangle here then it becomes a pentagon here so that means we need two triangles here no mm, but it can't yeah okay what if i delete this topology altogether and figure out a new topology for it let's get let's let's get this going um i do need an edge loop mm. insert right there uh absolute right there right there right there uh let's make sure that yeah that it's not doing this basically these two points oh they are not separate but these two are uh sorry they're not the same point but these should be yeah stitch that means these should be the same point stitch uh, i assume yeah same should ha is happening here stitch let me guess um here wait i might be wrong no i'm not okay so now this whole edge loop is correct even though i don't really see it that well but i know i know it's 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 fine it's fine why did i do this i did this because because we need more polygons here to be able to uh to 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 create a incision here this this area right here mm -hmm. so it still needs to happen there we'll deal with this area later okay so we got something like that let's go for ghosted view it's a little bit too much for me right now mm. i think this needs yeah we just insert insert edge right here just if just in case we need it Mm, okay let's think so this definitely gets d deleted no it's, it's we don't need it here and these get moved out until here all right so that that happens then this also needs to get deleted honestly and this yikes um this needs to be extruded Till it reaches here so that's our kind of first edge loop that's that's gonna happen here <clears throat> second extrusion is gonna be actually not that bad it just needs to go in here come on just go in there there we go that's our second extrusion then these two lovely extrusions get bridged together okay and then we get the bridge here and the bridge here it 
What is that? That's disgusting. Okay. One sub divert is he. Are you remove Chris? Are you Chris? No, you're not. Why are you behaving this way? Um this edge is here and this edge is doing that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh there is one point here that for some reason is really shitty. Um why? Now it's fine. Okay, now it's fine. Sure, yeah, okay. Yeah. Insert uh, goes up until here. This will be a bridge between this and this. With actually with two segments. Because we need one for this point. Oh my god. It keeps going. Okay. What next? What next? What next? Next. What next? Here. That. Okay. Definitely need like uh, another one. This one needs to be chill a bit because it's. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 just be using a different one. Um, that is going to be aligned with here. For future, uh, this can also be aligned here. For future, we'll be just reusing some edges to not get too many duplicates. Okay, so there's like one. Um, can we? Can we bridge here? And if we can, we need like two additional segments like that that's fine here we'll we'll fix it or rather let's let's fix it now bam 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 bridge perfect except there but that that's fine then here it's gonna be one Two, three, uh, with only one segment actually, or one not 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 segment. Sorry, the point thing. Get it going here. Move it into place here. Uh, this one still needs to be aligned because we don't want the mesh to look messy um this one actually honestly I'm, I'm i'm sticking to this one being where where it is i think that's cleaner yeah have ourselves a little bit of topology going on okay so now uh it's here that that needs definite like insane fixing um one two three four one two three four one two three one two three okay so bridge 
with three segments. And then we just keep stitching, right? Oh my god, we did it. Oh well, we did one fifth of it. Mm, but this now works. Somehow it feels like there, there probably was like an additional way of how you could do it. A better way. But hey, I, 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 I take it. I take it. Okay, what else do we do? We need these, but I already have show selected. I have like... Fuck. Ah, but it... Damn it. So these should actually be extracted from show selected. They should actually be extracted from here, right? And kind of oriented properly. Oh, damn, that's going to be. That's going to be a little bit of a doozy. It should work, though. Okay, let, let's actually do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so I need um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six of these. Extract surface, and then this one gets hidden. Uh, this gets flattened to zero, moved in. That's this gets. Oh wait, did I? Yeah, yeah, I made a mistake. We move with gumball with snappy dragging to snap it to a certain direction, just like that. Perfect. Then we make another one that is slightly bigger, um, only in one direction though. Let's have this smoothed so that we can see how how much uh, how, how big of a size it actually is um wait we can't do that right we need we need a numerical value uh, 1.5 that's very close 1.4 is gonna be correct yeah 1.4 is fine There we go. So we have something, something like so going on. And then this gets rotated ever so slightly. I said ever so slightly. Oh my God. Snappy rotation, huh? Okay, like that. We rotate it. We rotate this. Mm, then... As per usual, these two get deleted. We do the ring bridge again. With one segment, please. What do you guys want to see? Want me to show you something? A grasshopper or whatnot? So I could. I kind of want the seaplane to be aligned here. Uh, seaplane. Uh, 
What the fuck? Uh, C plane is wrong. Okay, three points. C plane, please. Then. There we go. Because we will be extruding this. Zip. And scaling this to zero. There we go. Now it's clean. All right, so that's one and it needs to. So basically it just keeps going, right? Like that. And then it keeps going even more and then drops down right here. Okay. And for me to actually see what the fuck is going on, I need, I need, what do I need? I need the seaplane to be world top. First of all, I need this to move back up to here. Perfect. Well, actually move out to here and then this together with okay let's just unlock select it and just hide it so this is not convenient at all okay one two these points please as well as this edge just kind of fuck off right there and that should do it Mm. So, grasshopper work. Well, what exactly in grasshopper? There's so many things that I could do. Uh, wireframe. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I got it. I got it. So we need this to not do that, basically. We need these to be moved back to somewhere here, like that. Uh, this as well. Perfect. Then uh, this and this needs to be just deleted completely. Um, what else? Shaded. These two points are stitched. These two points are stitched. Okay, that's done. And then these two points slide. Mm. Oh, only one point can slide. Okay. No, wait, that doesn't even make sense. Uh, okay. So they don't slide. They just get moved because sliding doesn't work. Apparently that's not a problem. Okay. So we have this, mm, let's show selected, show our little reference object and just copy from center point here to the center point right here Ch that should be that now this is where it gets real nasty show selected and let's get one two three four all four of these in here we have these sub D objects here. So I will be orienting orient three points. I'll just do one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So that, that works. I forgot to copy though. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that's good. One, two, three. 
and then last one one two three okay so this is where men start crying when they see that they need to somehow merge the two geometries together uh, and actually let me show selected let me just see what the fuck this doesn't even oh no is this this is the pinky it's it's smaller isn't it it's fucking smaller i knew it uh i'm gonna cry okay let's think then um so this ne will need a separate treat treatment so these two yeah it's literally smaller okay um i think orient has yeah scale uh, setting which might just save the day is this accurate now it is oh thank god okay won't need to remodel okay mostly works really enjoy all the revit grasshopper videos or to be more precise videos about how to produce stuff in real life mm, okay 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 i can um i can do more of those i enjoy doing them as well so lock selected uh let's get let's get it um yeah i i can do that um we need one edge loop to happen this is probably not going to yeah it's just messy okay that's fine though let's just do it this way um absolute please damn okay we do this right fully knowing that this is not a sustainable way of doing it that is fine though um because 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 we don't know a better way of how to do it. So yeah, that's that's that. Just once. Okay, those two points are fixed. Then these two points. At this point, I kind of see uh which points need to be stitched even without really kind of double checking the, the the diagonals really show it quite quite well okay insert uh now it should be much cleaner yes it is nice so we just insert it here i can do a bit wider angle on this like that like that wait this is absolute this is not ah oh, yeah 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 uh and also here the fuck is going on with the with this edge slide please uh other way slide to here and just chill chill here don't be awkward okay so from here on out we insert edge and we make it proportional which will make this 
a little bit more ugly. But that's fine because it's basically trying to fit with the opening here. And that's what we want it to do. Kinda. Uh, come on. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to say good enough. It's fine. Let's call it fine. Why do you not produce an edge loop here? That's mysterious here as well, sure. And it's okay. Um, I'm thinking of doing something like so and lifting it a bit just so that then I can take this, this point and kind of move it here. Uh, it's a little bit ugly. Wait, maybe we can we, we can salvage this. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna look fine. And then we have this edge loop right here that we can slide a little bit closer to this polygon and also insert edge to here and the final one is gonna be right around here okay oh my god that's actually difficult actually a difficult topological exercise okay so we have that that's not not a problem one two uh wait where where do things connect so one that a triangle that is a triangle uh but this will require an edge loop here okay then the second edge loop goes here somewhere here and then so that connects like that mm -hmm. Do we need more edge loops? Shit. Um, okay, this and this polygons. This corner it has the ability to either go here No, it can't. This corner needs to go here. And if this corner goes here, and this corner goes here, that means we don't need this edge loop right here. So this can go away. And only like this gets deleted, of course. Ah, but we will need an edge loop right here. But we already have one. Oh, but it's one, two. There's a lot. Um, there's a lot of stuff that will need to go in here. Because there is... If we stitch... Like that... Let's just start stitching um, so that we don't get too confused. I see your message. I'll read it in just a second. I have too many um, 
too many not numbers but like things in my head right now uh stitch right to there so it breaks okay that's fine if it breaks i can delete it here it is broken let's delete it and stitch these two back into the clean plate like that the fuck is that why is it gray and why is it broken the hell are you glit don't be awkward stitch to there wait no it needs to be to here like that and now I'll actually just delete a polygon here just to see better why not stitch to there okay fill tab Okay, that connection is not bad. That connection is definitely not bad. Uh, uh, everything else is under under construction, so don't don't worry. It's gonna get better. Well, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, but then it's gonna get better. All right, so let's just select this edge loop, the whole edge loop that we have here. I have no idea what the fuck this is selecting, but it's not that. It's actually this. And we just want to move it. Move it to here. Right? To something like this. Then. We want this polygon to not exist, or actually, no, it does need to exist. It just needs to slide to here. Okay. And then, 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 it's one, two, hmm. one, two, three. Mm. Okay, let's read a video about a parametric connections would be interesting also for example some interesting shapes of structure elements connected through a plate and or balls that could be changed parametrically yeah i get what you what you're you're trying to see uh, what you're saying um i need to let me think about this for a second there are a lot of issues with with this that might not be uh an inherent problem Okay, let's Oh, I also need it to be happening here as well, huh? Oh shit, what the From here to let's say to here. Okay. Let's insert let's insert another oh fuck it doesn't insert correctly uh undo selection try again come 
unlock that. Get rid of that. Okay, let's insert only on this side. So we have one, we will have two. We will have three. And we will have... We don't need four, we'll have three. This this one is a, it would be a mistake if it was four. Okay, and then on this side as well. So connections, right? Um, what kind of connection, first of all? Parametric connections in general are very, not tricky to do, but you really need to know what kind of structure you're dealing with um, in order for the, let's say, tutorial about connections to be useful. Um, a generalized approach would not work in this case because you do need to... Oh, fuck this to actually lift up like okay um i i think i i have a, another way of of uh, how, how to say this um connections or videos on connections would be extremely niche because they would work on a very, very sp specific type of a structure and could not be used for anything else other than that type of structure. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so we have this going on. I'm happy with this. Let me just stitch these together. It's fine. We terminate like crazy here. But that is okay, or actually... Mm, we terminate here and then we terminate here. <clears throat> Have you ever thought about doing videos on representation? Well, yes, but it has um, the problem with, with me, like the reason why I'm not doing them is because I'm not confident in my own abilities of representation. Like I think my renders suck and I think my drawings are not that great. Um, so who am I to teach aesthetics to uh, to other people? Well, my 3D modeling skills are above average, I think. At least I would hope so. Maybe they're not. Maybe some, some asshole will come in and say, no, I'm better than you. Well... To that, I would say it is what it is. Okay, that gets deleted. Okay. These three. These three. Mm. 
First thought was steel substructure profile tubes that's co uh, connected through plates that's screwed together with bolts. But yeah, I get. Um, I could do something like that. That can be a little bit more, you know, uniform or or a little bit more general in terms of what it might be used for. Mm, why not? Sure. I, I, I could try try going for it. I'll think about it. No promises, but maybe, maybe, maybe there's gonna be a video that will pop up. I, I would, of course, be using... Wait. Does this need to go like that? No, it needs to go like that, right? Yeah, yeah, it needs to go like that. Okay. One stitch. Um, you're too hard on yourself. Mm. Did I read this already? I think I, re I read this already. I will answer it either way. Uh, no, I am not. I am quite confident in my skills, but I don't. I'm, I'm realistic about my skills as well. I messed that one up. Kind of want to bridge these ones. High key, low key, want to bridge these ones. But not going to do it. Maybe. Nah, nah. Let let's let's have this sub D aesthetic going for us. It looks awesome, so I, I I wanna wanna just have it. Just somewhat smooth transitions. Oh, you're a structural engineer. Okay, that's cool. I think structural engineering is the one of the coolest jobs, honestly. Like, of course, uh, architecture is also really nice and, and, and cool and all. But structural engineering, something about making it perfect, well, you know closer to perfect making it real i feel like that is really really interesting and really cool i studied structural engineering for half a year in uh, denmark as an erasmus student coming in from the vilnius arts academy that was... I didn't have a good time. I didn't. That was... Not horrible. But holy shit. Um, 
you know, I, I, I was used to painting and drawing and watercolors and philosophy and whatnot. Oh shit, uh, that, that was... Um, I'm, I'm starting to make mistakes. Wait, undo, undo, undo. Where was I? Painting, watercolors, blah, blah, blah. Philosophy. And then I come to Denmark. My first, uh, by the way, like when I was a student, that was my first trip on my own. Um, and then I have to do structural engineering for an office building. Uh, that almost broke me. But I left Denmark knowing like much, much more. Infinitely more, some might say. Well, no, not infinitely, because, um, like, infinitely because before I, I knew zero. But no, I, I shouldn't say that I knew zero before. I, I knew a little bit. Because we have, like, in, in the even in the Arts Academy, we would have these structural engineering courses. Second set, what do you mean second set? We would have these structural engineering courses. Uh, that were pretty good, but they're... Mm, they were mostly like math oriented rather than BIM oriented, if that makes sense. Like you would do calculations, but you would not do a BIM model, which was, in my opinion, like this day and age, it's stupid and should not be done. Well... By saying that, I now realize that it was not this day and age, it was 2008. So, you know, things change. Things change. I'm just old, I guess. Um, do we do this or that? We go let's, let's do that. In, bef in between the fingertips, um, we'll have like bending situation going on. That's fine. Um, not a bridge, a stitch. Really? You don't you you don't wanna st stitch? Oh there we go. Oops. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Okay, that's that that needs to go there. Okay. Is this done? No. No, still this finger. Mm, goes here. Yeah. And this actually goes back down there. Tab this. Easy. Closed. Sub D. 3D printable. Oh. Mm. Jesus Christ. If only there would be no deadlines, but yeah, it's a lot of math and knowing Euro codes. There's not a lot of BIM in university. I live in Latvia, yeah. Riga, I assume. I don't like Riga. I prefer Vilnius and uh, Tallinn as well, but I learned fast at work. Revit, Tekla. Oh, Tekla, yeah, I know, I know that one. RFM. Um, 
let's let's talk about Riga for a bit. Why is the city so gray? I've been participating in so many competitions in Riga that at this point Yella is E A L A. Yella is like ingrained in my um, vocabulary, even though I have I, I don't speak Latvian at all, but that part, Jesus Christ. Because you know, you need to write the addresses. Uh, during the competitions but I never liked Riga um, something about the the greatness of the city itself just doesn't doesn't I don't vi vibe with it so to say ah oh, shit we'll need that as well and these two and that one hello PB hello Welcome, welcome. We are doing a hand. We have a middle finger that's modeled out for the hand. And now we need to do the, I don't know, the, like the hand part of the hand. Don't know how it's called. I don't know what I mean. Okay, uh, this, mm, this, 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 so this needs a little bit of love from me. Ah. I will approach it in a similar manner as how I approached the small finger holders. So I'll just kind of move it in there. Move it in there. Okay. I guess I move it out a little bit because it's... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Like that. Then we need to insert some edge loops. Um, right about there. Um, and now, at this point, this gets definitely locked. Ghosted. Mm. Gentars just left. I started talking about Riga and he just... Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, he's back. Yelgava. Yelgava. Where the hell is Yelgava? Oh, okay. Hmm. I've never... I assume I passed through Yelkova at least once in my life, but never registered it. <laughs> Architecture in old town is uh, old town is nice, though. Of course, of course. There is not a single old town in the world where architecture is not nice. Let's be, let's be, let's be clear, right? Let's be clear about it. Is it possible to wait? Shit, how do we mm, think? Okay, extract surface. So we duplicate this part. We, after duplicating, we offset sub D outwards by, let's say, one millimeter. That was not enough. By two millimeters. 
that is not enough by three millimeters. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, we offset it. While this one offsets inwards, of course. Um, okay, we can actually do just this six millimeters. There we go. Same shit. Uh, okay, so we get the ring here. Let's look at it in shaded view now. So we have weird ring. And basically, we don't need this, right? I, I know you don't even see what the hell I'm selecting. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Actually, worry about it. Let me unlock um, to, to show you. I need to build that pipe, right? With the with the holders and shit. Uh, so for that, I need, I need, I need, I need, like the topology to be there. Um, and I'll be just bridging the gap right there, like so, and bridging it here. Which you know, it, it's still very soft, but at least you know it, the topology is fine we will be um before i end today we will be probably uv unwrapping it uh, as well at least a little bit so that's something to look forward to and maybe substance painter not maybe probably at least you know trying it out i am a noob at substance painter by the way just so to to get everyone prepared on my noobness levels wait oh, that's a modeling issue that's fine we can just lie remember kids if something doesn't work, just lie. Okay, select and just drop this down and say that this was the plan all along. Mm, still, well, here there is clearance. Here we have. A little bit of a of a whoopsie. Come on, give me give me clearance, give me clearance. Yeah, that's fine. Looks like shit, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so now the lesson has been taught. Just look just lie. Just just lie. Okay, I need this to be on the side. Um, and we will try our best to make this bad boy work. Um, here we bridge, but we bridge with two segments. Well, here we bridge it awkwardly with one segment. That's how we kind of cap it off. Because then now here we can bridge with two segments again. And now it's kind of clean, you know. And then we get rid of these two bad boys here. Actually, we need to get rid of... Oh. Mm. Now this is awkward. Uh... <laughs> So we need to, no, that's good, that's good. We get rid of these two. Yeah, 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 that's good. We take this and we kind of move it until it snaps to this vertice. So we have like a vertical drop here, perfectly vertical drop here. And same thing for here. Drag it until it snaps to this vertice. Okay that works then we take this whole shenanigan here and we just ex 
the back. Extrude it like that. More. Something like that. Actually, I can use, I can, I can just snap to, to here, let's see. We extrude it until here, sure. That works. Oh, and let's uh, make it nice and flat. Scale to zero. Jesus Christ, the snappy dragging is nice, but also very not nice. I love it, but I also hate it, absolutely hate it. No, it's so, so bad. But I love it, but it's bad. Okay, and then we we extruded some more because it needs to drop in here. Okay, snappy dragging needs to chill, so we do we do smooth dragging. It goes in here, right? So so it it needs to reconnect with the the the, the glove. With the glove, like that. So this area will... Uh, that's gonna be such a disgusting connection. Or maybe not, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it can work if we just do it this way. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that might work. That might work. Um... So that goes here, that goes here, that connects to there, that's fine. All right. Um, then in the back. Oh, ew. Oh my God. Do I really need to do this? Like that? Really? Okay, fine. We'll figure something out. And goes all the way up to here. Yikes! That's that's gonna be a rough one to to do. Hopefully this one is easier, and it seems like it is. Okay. So we do exactly the same thing as we did before. Um. Yo, bridge. You wanna? You want to work? Okay, that works. That works. Okay. Then we get rid of this. <clears throat> we get these bad boys aligned. Properly. This one too. This one too. There we go. And same thing, extrusion. Kablamo. I don't think we need to do a stronger extrusion than this. Well, this definitely needs to move down though. I'll just use move vertical and this one. Yeah, we, we can do a double extrusion. Sure. So to zero goes until this, uh, this vertex group and then kind of extrudes down to this one. All right. Or rather we first need to actually do this and then add edge loops or else again not gonna have a nice time come on go go there we go <clears throat> okay Ugh. 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 Is that, that's a plate there, not an angled thing. I don't care. I don't care. It's going to be an angled thing. I don't care. I don't care. No, I'm not. No, don't care. Okay. Now we need to start deleting things. Let's lock this. 
and go to ghosted view and basically this whole part just gets destroyed Hmm. We will need to do a few a few checks if you will. Just a few little checks. Nothing nothing too bad. Okay. Let's start with this one. So, um, as I mentioned before, we need we need an edge loop that would go somewhere here and be able to connect. with the arm so okay the question 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 is no it's it shouldn't be an it shouldn't be like that it should be a triangle here and for the triangle to work there there needs to be more edges here shit Yeah, yeah. Mm, how do we add more edges? Oh, and there needs to be like a double double thing going on here. Okay, this part is not going to be hard. We literally just Jesus. We literally just need to. do this search edge midpoint there we go then we need to decide what do we stitch doesn't want to we will still force it though there we go so this needs to definitely go there which means this polygon is unnecessary and this polygon is actually a triangle oh, I'm having so much fun this is so exciting. But hey, once once I do this, we'll know exactly how to tackle like almost any any issue. A stitch. Any topo topological problem that might that we might encounter. We'll just go through them like, like it's nothing. Like it's literally nothing. Okay, that. Okay, so we can actually say. Okay, okay. So we can actually say that this fuck um, this edge loop so it goes down here so that point that I can't get to you know what we need we need a 
how is it called like the hotkey we need a hotkey for a fucking wireframe view to toggle between wireframe and shaded views if anyone knows a hotkey for that let me know i'm not sure if there is one though okay so it just drops down here which is great that's what we wanted to do because then we can just delete this whole shebang here get rid of the edges here and the polygons here like that that one needs to go away okay like that that's good that's what we want then this becomes a triangle but before it can become a triangle this needs to bevel into two right and these two points need to be stitched together as well as these two okay then we realize that this needs to be also somehow it, it needs to have a different topology which is fine we bridge like that and we bridge like that and then it's fine just keep bridging there we go fill that oh boy Modeling subd seems harder than working with NURBS. What are the advantages in working with subd? Um, it's not harder. Let me start with that. It's not harder. It's different. The problem that I'm having right now, the only problem, is that I am rebuilding a NURBS model in subd. So NERV, I created the NURBS model without thinking about the edge flow and so on. So just Boolean operating, Boolean union, Boolean difference, blah, blah, blah. I did that uh, while with sub D, wait, one second, one second. I'll be right back. There we go. So with sub D, I need to actually think about the you know the, the the proper edge flow and whatnot and how that how that works shit oh, actually not shit that's fine um so if i were to model something from scratch in sub d that would actually work quite quite well but since i'm modeling in since I've started modeling in NURBS, then of course subd is not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. Yes, I am struggling with it. Not a lot though, a little bit. I mean, it's not, not, not a disaster. Um, advantages of subd. Advantages of subd are that it's very lightweight compared to NURBS. It can be used in stuff like video games uh, because it converts into a very clean quad mesh very easily. Well, if you model it cleanly at least, in a clean way. How do we deal with you? Okay, so we have edge, 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 edge. That's not enough edges. 
I could just... Okay. Let's say this is here. Then that means... Need the bridge here. And the bridge here. That is not a problem. But then here I have like two very awkward bridges. That technically work, but I'm not sure. Well, they seem to work. It's not overly twisted, so seems to be fine. Is that Ludwig's soundtrack? We're finally landing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, once you understand the principles of sub D, it's not 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 hard. It's just time consume consuming. Oh, um, yeah. We kind of need to have these guys fixed. Bam. Okay. Stitch. Whew, okay, so this is done. This is not. <laughs> this needs the same amount of love of what we gave this one. That is fine. We're at 5 hours and 12 minutes. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In general, Rhino is um, like modeling with Rhino, uh, I think it is the best experience that you can have. The best modeling experience that you can have compared to any other program. The 3D modeling in Rhino, they made an amazing job with it. I really, really think that. Mm. Okay, so this needs to drop in, right? Okay, so let's just move this to here. And just force a connection here immediately or, or not immediately. It just drops like that. Mm, that's such an awkward. Okay, so it can't be um, a connection. Oh shit! Can't be a connection. Needs to be a bridge, or it can't be a stitch. Needs to be a bridge, which is fine. We can do it. But the problem is that here the topology is not existing. So we actually, before we do it, we need to insert a shit on of edges. Let's just see how many ah, there as well, huh? Okay. So let's go one, two. Mm, technically, we can use that one. That's fine. So we have this network now. Um. This edge actually peels off a bit. Come on, just peel off. Like that. Uh, while... One, two, three. While these three scale the fuck down and move... Um, Move to the height of this one. Come on. One. Yeah, and working with these muscle memory is super important. That's for sure. Okay, then. Then, then, then. This, this, 
and this well this can't do it but that's fine so these two need to move out and actually need to be snappy dragging let's just snap them to the nearest point here all right So this is like moved here and this gets just destroyed deleted not existing oh fuck it's on this side um yeah we're okay with that aren't we i'm just gonna delete this whole area here all together simply because we will be rebuilding it later down the line so that's fine actually uh, that one is going in hard, um, which is not great. Uh, let's move it down. Fuck. Okay, what do we do with this then? We need like an additional edge loop for sure. right in the middle okay so now oh and of course an edge loop here oh oh actually bevel amazing i get i get to separate this out and get a point right in here so these points now can match up. Sweet. So they match up, meaning that this bridge can hold here. Okay, let's start let's start connecting everything. Nice. Easy. Um, this that is an that's not a manifold, right? Not a manifold. Two edges. Ah, uh, fuck. Why? Delete. Delete. Oh, relax, relax, relax. It's it's not bridge. Okay, that's fine. And we just bridge here. It's fine. Okay, and now it makes a mistake here. Yikes. Um, okay, what if I do this? Then it's a mistake here. Okay. That ain't gonna end well. We'll see. We'll see if it's, if it's able to close off. Also, what the fuck am I doing here? It's going in while well, here it's going out um so it needs to be different mm, a different approach needs to be had here so actually this doesn't even exist mm, and we can bridge this properly now because 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 this edge loop that we have here, this. Hello, Thomas. This edge loop that we have here kind of needs to be here, right? And actually we do And wrapping, no, it doesn't work in Rhino. It's shit. Still shit. It's gonna be like that. Um, this will need to drop, though. To here. Oh. This needs to drop to here. 
Why does it not... Hello? That's, that was very strange, but hey, it works, so that's fine, I guess. Let's just relax them a bit. Um, and of course, this needs to move down. Okay. Um, then this goes in here, stitch. Definitely. Like that. Yeah, yeah, and then we, we just get a nice little bridge here between these three. Perfect, and then that's a fill. Yeah, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad of a transition. Uh, then I could just do this. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's go for that. Then here, uh, like that. Bridge. That's going to be a fill. Um, actually, now when I think about it, no. That needs to be a bridge. And that needs to be a big ass triangle. Yeah, that's cleaner. Okay. That works. Uh, one, two. Shit. No, here. Like that. Um, we can bridge these. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Um, nom, 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 nom. When did we create more? Ah, oh, here. Okay. So it has more polygons now. Um, let's terminate one. Like that. Ah, uh, uh, disgusting. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's fine. Okay, and this is the final final one, huh? Hmm. Definitely need an, an inserted edge here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it. Um, let's, let's do it one by one. This bridge with one segment or two segments. Then an awkward bridge here with one segment. Then a bridge here, two segments. And then a bridge here with again, one segment. And that's a no, that, that is a no, that is a pentagon. Um, Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, so this, 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 do we even need it? Um, one, two, three, four, no, one, two, one, two. So this can be a triangle, right? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll read it just a second. This needs to be a triangle, right? Then this becomes a bridge. 
and this becomes a bridge okay so it terminates in this point not in this point that's oh, don't like that okay i don't like it terminating there can this be a quad this be a triangle and this be a quad yeah this is better this is cleaner okay uh then here we don't need all of the edges here or actually Okay, sure. <laughs> I just added too many edges. All uh, right. Half paper packaging box texture applied with UV editor and an Arctic preview. All is great, but when I render with V-Ray, all texture is wonky. Any ideas? What the fuck? I no, no, no ideas whatsoever. That's a very um. The channels might be wrong. I don't know. Don't use Rhino. Let's make this bulky. Yeah. Don't use Rhinos. Uh, UV and wrapper. It's not good. Not good at all. Oh, right, these two. I, I forgot. But these are just like boxes, right? So I can just kind of inset some stuff and extrude them. I think so. Mm. Let's make them through boxes. So here. As well as here, right? Inset. This is indeed the hand. It is true. Group 0.5. Extrude. Come on. Just fucking extrude. Okay. Then we need these guys to be... Well, they are angled. Let's kill 1D them along some sort of a edge. Let's see this edge, zero. Did they get, are they flat now? I have no idea if they're flat or not. Do I care if they're flat? Maybe not. Maybe I don't. Now when I think about it. Because all I need from these is to enclose the fingers, right? Yeah, it is. It's still the monitor girl. so between here and here I want it to be like one millimeter like that and these three or rather this edge loop scale one millimeter please this edge loop uh, you are you need to be scaled first from here to here zero ah okay so it doesn't doesn't like to be scaled that way mm. can just do that 
it's fine. No, we can't. Shit. Okay, I'll just slide it then. That's that's fine as well. Okay, that seems good. It's mostly uniform. This one is not scale or scale windy. Uh, between here and here, one. Now it's mostly uniform. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. Extrude. Ten, 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 ten. Bridge. Ten, 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 ten. Bridge. Okay, we have that going on. And this. Um. Smoke dragging, please. Like that. I did indeed resin print it. That was actually very... Oh. Hmm. That was actually very fun. Very fun thing to do. Which I can't say about this. Okay, so first of all, this needs to be... Like, is there like an average plane thing? Or a uh, plane? Um, D plane? Like average. 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 Through? Nope. Um, Maya. Developers usually use Maya for game characters. Blender users would uh, try saying that no, 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 they, they started using Blender these days, but it's Maya. Don't believe what Blender user is saying. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. No, it's all wrong. Okay. It's all wrong. Wrong point groups. Blender is indeed nice. So one, two, gap, and the gap here. Ah, yay! Yeah. And then um, these two as well. Okay, let's actually think show this time let's think so this is the the palm of the hand do i even want it there because i didn't really like it maybe i don't want it i don't want it yeah, I'll, I'll stick to that. I don't want it. Okay. Then, 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 then. There's still the thumb shit going on. Um, this whole part that we'll need to do. Mm. So that flap right there will need a little bit of love. 
Where can I get that left from? Um, we could use something like that. Uh, let's make our own. Okay. So let's take that. Let's um, C plane. C plane it. Surface here. Doesn't really matter where. And let's create a cylinder. Oh, sub D. I need to learn Blender. I need to learn more, like how, how to use Blender better. Because right now the way I use it is pretty rudimentary and I think there's a, there's a lot of potential of Blender in architecture. I need to learn. Maybe someday. Like I don't have I'm at this point to do all of the things that I set out to do, which sucks, but hey, it's only one of me, one of me. Okay, so we have that, and as per usual. I'm just gonna do it blind because I've been doing it for so long. Extract surface, offset sub D. That's good enough. can be deleted <clears throat> this can be bridged also yay Everything's bridged. And then we take these bad boys. Kinda need a plane for this. C plane three points. Let's go with three points. C plane for now. Something like that. Just so that we can extrude these things properly. Like that. And then scale them. Like that. Alright, so at this point... We have most of this kinda... Kinda done. Let's unlock. Blender BIM seems interesting, but hadn't... Uh no no it's disgusting. I I tried it. Don't 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 use Blender BIM. Much like a much weaker version of anything that you could get on. Actually, let's do it this way. Uh, one second. I'll I'll continue my rant in just a just a moment. Yep. Yep. Insert. Or actually we can insert the edge from here. Should be easier. Yep. There we go. And the one and the two and the three and the four so where was i oh yeah uh bim blender bim no just no 
Just no. No matter what you what you're about to say. Nope. Bad idea. Don't. It's too much of a of a mess uh, with uh, the amount of hotkeys and so on, and also the representation um, representation uh, tools are not there, like proper ones for document uh, for documentation and so on. So it just becomes a gimmick. Bridge that. Bridge that. Ooh, that's not good. I'm thinking of... Okay. Uh, probably a stitch will, will, will need to happen. Something like that. Revit shell. Mm, I don't use Revit though. Like Rhino has now, and when I think about it, Rhino has pretty good BIM capabilities these days. With plugins, of course. Like there's a bunch, uh, well, there's a bunch of videos I've done about this in, on on my channel, so I assume you know what I mean. I actually like the the bend of that this makes. It's pretty sweet. Not bad. Stitch there, stitch there, bridge there, bridge there, fill, sweet, okay, visual arc is nice, I actually like it better than working on Archicad, well yeah, yeah. Uh, because it enables you to work in a Rhino viewport, which is, I mean, I keep screaming at Rhino saying that, oh, this doesn't work and that doesn't work and so on. But when you think about the alternatives, I mean, Rhino is the best. Okay, let's see. We basically have one part left and then we will be done for today. Maybe. Mm. But I'm thinking if we should... Let's... Let's mess around a bit before ending. Like the last hour of the stream, I will just... Just have fun, I think. So let's uh, get our subdies in here. That's what we have so far. And the main thing that I want to do is I want to get this one, this bad boy in here, and I want to UV unwrap it. Or actually, um, I for almost forgot. We do need this to be uh, sharpened up a bit right right now it's a little bit of a mess so let's let's do that let's make make it make it nicer come on topology
Anyone in the chat invested in crypto? How are you holding up? Just thought I'll I'll ask because you know if no one asks you, then you might do something horrible. How's life? All good? Zero point three two. Little bit more, uh, then here. That part is actually fine. I kind of like it that way, so I'm gonna keep it. The perimeter here is fine. Mm, don't like that. I don't like that. This needs to be. Everything's 30% more expensive except the salary. Yep. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. see how how this kind of bevel would look like is that disgusting uh breaks there okay can't have it as a bevel uh, can we have you as a bevel though ah is it because of that it wasn't okay let's see if i made any boo-boo areas no most of these seem to be holding so we stick to it so we kind oh that's a pentagon that is a pentagon ladies and gentlemen which we will need to solve um that will become a triangle. Oh wait, that's a pentagon as well. Huh. Okay. So as expected, this... That's gonna be a pentagon too. Oh no. So maybe we keep this ch chillin'. Uh, 0 0.2. Okay, that did nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 0 0.2 okay this needs to be fixed okay this needs to be fixed Mm, no, I don't like it. Yeah, that's better. No more pentagons? No more pentagons. Okay. How's this looking? Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And now for this. Okay. That is going to open up a pentagon again. Or unless, 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 unless we do this. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Just try. Is that a quad? Yes, that's a quad, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a shitty mesh either way, so it, it is gonna have a lot of problems. 
and questionable very questionable areas which is actually that's fine so we go on through there and then we loop back around um do we separate here yeah we do bevel 0 0.2 oh it goes until here and makes a pentagon there i don't want that um undo selection let's take a look at this now i want this to be soft uh yeah to be soft Visual arc might be the slowest beam and it will continue to be like that in the next 10 years, I guess. What do you mean by slowest? Like the... Display or, or, or what? Uh, which, which part? Something's funky. I guess we need this to be a little bit more. So that corner there. That needs to actually have this coming together, I guess. Like that triangle. Ay, 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 ay. How does this look like? Ah, okay. So basically what we're doing is we're creating too much crap in this corner. Um, can we then not do that? Or do we need to do something like this? Yeah, that seems to hold it. Yeah, okay. That holds the corner. That's fine. And now this. This is easy. And then I'm not sure about about the perimeter here. I kind of like the, the the softness of it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. All right, mm, still here. This one. Oh wait, is that the? How does that work? What is this? Delete. All right, this is that area here. Um, and I can't do much about it, huh? I mean, it does hold in a shitty way. It's like... Yeah, let, let's let it hold. Like, it, it is holding, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother with this. It's fine. Okay, where were we? That and that. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Whew. 
Oof. Mm. Shall we do some some learning together before we end today? Shall we do some learning? Because here we're we're, we're kind of done. Shall select it. Uh, let's select all sub D. Enter. That's uh, that's how I feel today. <laughs> Yeah, we have we have this done. Let's bake this bad boy out. So we have Is this level 2? No, it's level 1. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of polygons. Okay. Wait, I think we can do all at once, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's nice. Uh, clear. Let's just check as what we usually do. Mm. That seems good. That seems good. A little bit wavy here, but besides that. Yeah, that's that's good surfacing, good surfacing. Good. 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 Good, good, good. Okay. Oof. And we have ourselves the mesh. So let's check. We're at 21,000 faces. With all copies of fingers done, it's going to be closer to 30,000. So both arms are gonna be 60,000 that's fine that's fine we're okay okay let's save that let's open up our blender do a little bit of uv unwrapping for for one of our meshes and I'll preemptively open up Substance Painter as well. Come on. Both don't want to open up. For some reason come on please please sir please oh really i mean what what the fuck blender hello i 
Oh, there we go. That's alive. Let's get rid of everything. File import. OBJ. Where is our CRT exports to Blender? And I have the showcase OBJ right here. This bad boy. It's a boring boy, but it's gonna do. Or do we get a nicer one? Because I think we have like file import OBJ shoulder one obj which is right here it's a little bit fancier i can use this so let's let's get rid of sh uh, the, the, the shoulder so shoulder one it needs a little bit of love here in terms of the polygon count but that's fine we'll 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 create that um but first i want to unwrap this so i'm just gonna go fast um so let's see here there not not there not there there here there somewhere here bam um then we can do this just as a ribbon, that's fine. Get that in here. Does that go all the way through? Yes, it does. Get that in here. Perfect. Um, right, so this gets disconnected. Then we will need this and that. These two edges. Okay, time to control E mark seam. Okay, A UV unwrap. Show both. Okay, all of this is clean ish. Uh, there should be like a display stretch. Um, this is a little bit stretched. Why? The fuck? whatever um all of these are non-stretched at all oh this one is what are you where are you you're here all oh, right right these need a little bit of oh yeah yeah all of these need seams i'm stupid i am just being a dumbass so those two polygons or edges oh control z shift yeah shift shift there we go then somewhere here we will need to have a seam of course since it's a freaking ribbon mark seam a u is it you yes you and wrap okay now there's zero stretch no 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 and a shit ton of stretch here which we also need to fix so we're fixing it. We're fixing it. How do we fix it? We need to disconnect um, this object. So Alt Shift click. Not sure of that. Like the shading is a little bit weird. Something's up with the shading. It used to be better. I don't know. Maybe my my graphics card is freaking out or something. What's the difference between Maya and Blender for architectural purposes? <laughs> no difference. Both are useless. <laughs> I mean. In that regard, there is no difference. Like Maya and Blender, you can make really fancy geometries with both. Easily. Well, easily. Easily is a very generous word, isn't it? Um, 
quickly, I guess. But both lack in the department of... Um, of uh, design documentation. They're just weak uh, in, in that regard. Really weak. Mm, shit, okay, so that needs to... So basically now we're, we're just dealing with this island that we need to fix. And this island... Kinda want to just cut out this whole thing and just... Can we? Can I? I think I can. Um, but that would be... That would not be great. <clears throat> okay. What, what would be the best way to unroll this? I think the best way would be to actually say sure. I will have... Blah. Sure, I will have a seam going up until here uh, that's shortest path ain't working shortest path ain't working so see him just going right through the mill like that or wait 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 No, 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 this is better, this is better, this is better. So we take this area here and we do shortest path to here. This is control shift by the way for shortest path and we create a seam like so, so that it can unfold. And we'll do the same thing here. Um, and we won't because I forgot the so it goes down, there's a triangle there, ah, wrong seam, I guess, like that, mark it, okay, A, U, unwrap, nice, um, so there's a shit ton of stretch here that's still happening, but I don't care. <laughs> the meme ah uh, yes the meme okay so now let's hit it with a uh, subdivision modifier uh, like that let's take a gander um, well let's apply the subdivision modif modifier I can't apply it because I'm in edit mode like a moron now we can apply it now we go in here there's still a stretch here, but it's not, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so this is our element right here, UV unwrapped. Then we take, it, take this file, export, obj, desktop, exports from Blender, and it's going to be... Uh, let me just overwrite showcase.obj. I want to say that I want to save this, probably. Yes, save. Um, let me create a new folder, call it Blender. Uh. You call this shoulder one. All right. So now back in here. File. 
new. Uh, we we select our showcase uh, from Blender. I accidentally didn't save it properly, did I? Okay. Uh, so we just open this one up. Double check everything. Seems to be fine. We can go for 4K document resolution. All right. So we have ourselves an element. High poly mesh. Right. Then, I. By the way, I don't know this program. Just so we're we're clear. Just so we're on the same page. Um, I do know though that you need to bake out the channels. These bad boys. No, not the channels. The maps. Bake mesh maps. Yes, please. I don't have ideas though. IDs. So we don't do that. Ambient occlusion, curvature, position, thickness, all of that. Sure. Bake selected textures. So it's going to go through and it just kind of generates different textures for us. So now we have the normal. Basically here I can show you, I guess. Uh, normal? No, I can't. Oh, mesh maps. Normal. Well, that's boring. Um, ambient occlusion? Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. Why is it so bad? What the fuck? Why is it so bad? Um, bake mesh maps again. But this time let's... Oh, there's like common output size. The output size is horrible. 4K, please. Big selected textures. Okay. Why is it so bad? Why is ambient occlusion so bad? Like the resolution now is good, but is it is it the islands? Does anyone know how to use this program? Hello? We bake it again, but this time we look for low polygon mesh suffix match always anti-aliasing none. The fuck that. Give me anti-aliasing. Average normals, ignore back face, yes, use cage, that's whatever. Use low polygon mesh as high polygon mesh. Apply diffusion. Whether to use the diffusion as post process after dilation or not. No, I don't. What's dilation? Help. Okay, we bake this again. Now, at least my computer is checking. Okay, let's see what does it use. Um, it's using CPU, question mark, details, performance. No, no, it's GPU. Yeah, yeah, it's hitting GPU. So it's calculating with, with all of the maps are rendered with GPU rendering. That's good. Um, that is very good. Okay, that's done. This still looks like complete garbage though. I don't know why. Let's actually check. Um, let's go back here to material lighting and here to three D two D, right? And here, where's our curvature map, for instance? Huh?
are the UV maps exported in a shitty way? Let's see. Those are the UV maps that we have here. Um, where will it? Yeah, here it's gonna. So, okay, that's the UV map that we have here. And that's the UV map that we're getting. Okay, so the UV maps are not being exported. What is your way to flatten polyline? Uh, scale it to zero. That's the easiest. Or project to C plane. Create a C plane and project it to the C plane. Um, no, wait, it's it's correct, isn't it? Does this mean I need to A, U, unwrap again? Oh my god, I had to unwrap it again. Okay, okay, I'm stupid. So after, okay, we, we learned, we learned, we learned. File, uh, close, uh, discard, and we try again. So this time, correctly. We are learning. File, export, OBJ again. Uh, I did the untitled, I'll just overwrite it. I guess I won't. Or maybe I did, I'm not sure. Let's try again. Um, yeah, I did. Sure. Uh, let's do a new file. Uh, 4K, please. Give me untitled. There we go. Hit OK. Yeah, this seems much smoother. Much smoother. Okay. The mesh doesn't look that that better, honestly. But 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 but. If we bake mesh maps now with a uh, high resolution and where's the like high anti-aliasing no ID though don't need that yeah now these looks looks good yeah there we go there we go okay Ooh. sweet saved saved Okay, so this is baked, um, which means um, now I can, let, let's go to, uh, 3D only, there we go, and let's, 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 hmm. I should probably stay somewhere here, so you see better. Let's see, under layers, these are like general options, okay, under layers, we have layer 1 that I'm just going to delete immediately, and let's create a um, group, and add a fill layer in the group, in the group, in the group, add a fill, is it in the group? Yes, it is. I, I'm stupid. The layer and how do I rename it? Let's call it metal. And the group is called metal group. Close enough. And for this, we can just adjust a few things. So if I just make this metallic, it's straight up metal now. Right? Um, then, 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 if I rotate, 
the environment is this model mesh or something else and you can change its resolution anytime uh, kind of yeah to a certain extent yes you do need to bake out like a pretty close mesh um, to, to what you will have uh, in the final one but like in terms of amount of subdivisions if you just jump between like through one subdivision it probably will work but yeah uh, so this is that then we have roughness that we can change so you can have full roughness which is just matte boring or you can have zero roughness which is chrome and now you can see the environment that is lighting this whole thing okay but i don't care about that i actually care about roughness being um, controlled by a texture and i can just say what if we give you no, no 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 actually no that's just noise uh cancel that roughness um scratches paint scraped plaster cracked or can i just do metal and and find like metal roughness yeah i can uh grunge damas steel no grunge galvanic large galvanic small rust okay let's try galvanic small like that all right like that where is the freaking size oh it's here tiling oops okay then we need the balance to be much our actual balance is fine the contrast needs to be much lower micro distortion dirt Okay. This is hmm. Not sure if I like it. Uh this what render is this? This is not a render, this is Adobe uh Substance 3D Painter. a uh, program that's used to create fancy materials, basically. Okay, I don't like that. Let's see if we can do something else with it. Roughness. So if we don't use metal, can we use something else? Can I take from here? Um, smart masks, filters, brushes, alphas, textures, textures. Cells, no. I kind of want like fingerprints or something. Uh, any render can use them? Yes. It generates a texture uh, map. Not map, but like a texture set that can be used by, yeah, like literally any render. Finger. Fingers, fingers, fingers goes into roughness okay that's what i wanted that's perfect
that's the balance okay um we can have it inverted but no 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 okay low contrast high contrast let's let's have it high contrast okay so we have it like so grunge fingerprints dirty there's a fingerprint right there then i want to add oh and this is like the percentage right no it's not a percentage something else doesn't matter so i want to add um filter And let's see what kind of filters do we have. Oh. That's masks. That's those are filters. Okay, matte finish hammered, matte finish brushed. So can I just do that? Hmm. That filter did not do anything, so let, let's delete this and try again with this filter. Uh, finish. Matte finish grainy, galvanized, raw, rough, hammered, grinded. No, 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 I want linear, brushed linear, there we go. Like that. That's nice. Okay, we have this scale. Intensity. Something like that. <clears throat> The scale needs to be... Wait, is that bigger or smaller? Yeah, that's smaller. Um, 100. Hundo. Intensity. So now with 100 you can see the repetitiveness of it, so I can't have it at 100. Unless I do something else with this. So let's not use that filter. Let's use coated filter here. Like that. Yeah, that's better. No, size is not random. I still don't know how to... How to work with size. Anyway. Like that's, that's metal. Then let's add some... Paint on top of the metal. So let's create another group, another folder rather, delete that. Um, how do I create a folder outside? Yeah, there we go. And call this paint. So paint will also have a fill layer that is inside of the paint okay and add I, I need to uh, somehow add 
a mask. Add black mask. Okay. Now my paint is masked, meaning that I can slowly I can create okay let's do paint um paint old dirty paint old paint old small cracks paint damaged paint subtle subtle scratched okay so let's do paint damaged so i just drag it over as a mask and i get this okay so there's a sharpen going on where i can make it sharper or not right and there's the metal edge wear uh, for, for, for the color itself. And the wear level is going to be pretty intense. Wear contrast also pretty intense. Grunge amount can be a little bit less what's edge smoothness uh never mind and curvature of weight it's gonna be harder okay what do you think starts looking cool huh Starts looking pretty cool. Okay, then... Then we can go back in here to, to our p actual paint. And we can choose that our base color is... Uh, can I just do like plastic or something like that? Plastic matte. Or glossy. It can be glossy. That's fine. Plastic glossy. Where I'll change the color to. Like. Back to white. But then for roughness. I will use. Uh, like. Uh, scratches. Uh, that's environments, that's textures, um, filters, smart masks, no, no, grunge, dirt, scratchy, directional scratches, no, don't want that, paint scratched, there we go. So I'll just slap it in the roughness right here. And it kind of pops up here. And I can do like balance stuff. And I can increase the contrast of it. And so on. Okay. Then, what the hell is that? This marks. Then, then, then. We can do dirt.
add fill. Uh, fill will have again. Um, oh wait, uh, did I fuck up? I think I fucked up. No, no, not add fill. Add fill layer. Uh, that's an effect. I don't need a fill effect. I need uh, add fill layer. There we go. And it lives in on paint, on top of paint. Or actually, it can live outside of paint because it's dirt. Mm -hmm. And the color of dirt is... Can I just do it like dirt? Large rust leaks. I want to see this. Mm. Eh. Eh. You know. Nope. Um, instead... Oh, there is like a smart map here. Like a smart material. Okay, I want to try this. That ain't too bad. Um, how does this work though? You must select a paint. Wait. Hello? Oh, I must select a, a layer on which dirt is applied? Like that? Yeah, okay, like that. Mm. Do I like it? Oh, there, there it is. Uh, there the base. It's very dirty. It's a little bit too dirty. A little bit, you know, a little bit too much. Uh, just a little bit too much. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of that. And that, or not that. Oh, actually, sure. Let's create add a fill layer again. And let's create a mask for it. Toggle mask, no, add black mask. And then in the mask, let's find so that's smart masks. And there is the dirt mask. Dirt. Bam. Oh yeah, and the color is gray, so I don't see anything. But if I t turn it to red, it is here. It is here. Okay, now how do we deal with the mask? Alpha. No, that's a shape. No, I don't care about the shape. Please. Stroke. Size jitter. Oh, there's the mask editor. Show me that. Okay. Mm. Texture. Ambient occlusion. That does nothing. Well, that does something. Okay, curvature. Less. Ambient occlusion. Less. Global balance. What is that? But the... Okay, why is the dirt being created everywhere? Did 
texture. Texture 2. Just texture. Okay, so one is being applied on top of the other and it's basically eliminating parts of the other. That's interesting. Okay, and contrast can make it really intense or not as intense. But I do need it to be only in the nooks and crannies. Okay, and what about here? Okay, that's how we control the balance. But, but I can't, still can't control where it goes. How many files? No, oh, you get like the fuse map, you get the metallic the reflection map and so on so you just drag and drop them in 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 viri easy as that okay we close that we don't deal with that dirt cavities i am stupid okay so generator you need to chill because we have dirt cavities of course of course and what's paint can i just paint stuff um I need to make this stencil, not stencil, brush, alpha, no, that, we don't need to paint, right? No, we don't need to paint. We need mask builder. Oh, it uses triplanar mapping, sure. This one is lagging. This one is lagging. Oh, okay, but it's it's doing the scratchy things and so on. Okay, so we can get dirt on here as well. And we can do like this. Okay. Mm-hmm. that okay now this needs to stop being red because red is annoying so let's find a material that can be used rust scratch thin zombie some zombie bubble skin i want to see that Oh, it for some reason didn't load in. Oh, it doesn't load in like a fill layer, huh? Zombie bubble skin.
So, okay, I think I've got it. At least the basics. I understand the basics of how this works. Uh, let's let's find some sort of a. Or actually, no. Let, let, let's keep it as a zombie. Uh, let's take a look at what we get. The base color looks like that. Height map. Information that. Roughness. Looks like that. These are the maps that you get. For your element. Metallic. Looks like that. Normal maps. Look like that. And th these are like. Additional things. And this is the whole, the whole thing. Oh, it's gonna look. I mean, don't forget that we're looking at this with a real-time render engine that Sub Substance Painter is using. Like, it would prop look proper. So we're, we're going to be using this to, to create our texture. Should be fun. But that's going to happen not today. Today, I've been streaming for seven hours, exactly. I was planning on streaming for seven hours, so it is what it is. Tomorrow, we finish the arm. Tomorrow, we start with the torso. <clears throat> Probably, hopefully, do we will do the whole torso area. And then we will see. Then we will see. I'm out for today. I'll see ya. I'll see ya. Bye. Bye.